Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Fuck it, we're doing it live. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Not much. It's another a mediocre time. Dan, Tom, Sam, Travis, whatever. What? I forgot back. my name. I've been going two weeks. I called Who you what? You? I called you whatever. Oh. The tall nerd is here again. Yeah. Tall nerd. Tall I'll, nerd. I'll, tall I'll, nerd. I'll take it. <laughs> no, of course. Bust Ecker's back, so you will get some uh, get on the bus today. But welcome to the show, everybody. How you doing? So uh, weather today in Orlando is supposed to be fucking crazy, right? Yeah. Everybody's like batting. Like people are freaking out. People but are leaving work early. Is it crazy. just news? A uh, thunderstorm, right? <laughs> yeah. like, hey, I've been through thunderstorms. Right. Like, even a Category 1 hurricane, I'll walk outside. It doesn't yeah. matter. I've been outside during uh, two before. I got a blowjob <laughs> in the driveway of my Deltona home during the big hurricanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so I could do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, it's uh, wind and rain. I and guess that could have gone wrong, though. I mean, shit gets fucked up, but... Uh, do you finish if a, if a it, telephone I'm... pole falls on her back and <laughs> breaks it, uh-huh. and she's trapped under it, and she almost bites your dick off, do you uh, finish? No, no, come on. Don't be <laughs> shock do. jockey. I'm not shock one jockey. Day that, I think that's an accurate. Yeah, <laughs> one day one day live back on radio, and I came in here, I had a leather jacket on, no shirt, <laughs> uh, uh, sunglasses all the time. So wait, but, were you in the house, and you are like, let's go out to the car? No, we were just standing outside. Oh, all right. You know, like we went outside to see what was going on, and just I uh, just happened to have pajama pants on. <laughs> and Turned an, on by the rain. And an erection. <laughs> <laughs> there was no rain. It was like the oh. eye of the storm, oh, you know, okay. where you get like... Mm-hmm. The, it's like oddly calm. Mm-hmm. You uh, <laughs> you have a unique relationship with that I, that with uh, with n- who with your <laughs> wife and the fact that uh, you could openly talk about this. I can't really openly talk about. It. I'm banking that she's not in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> you've so you've mentioned, you've mentioned uh, you know. Yeah, I know, so, but I mean, which like, is healthier. She also understands that I. You know, fucked other people before. Yeah, you know, before you met her. Yeah, it a little braggadocious when you keep bringing it up. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> with, with all due respect, has saying. anybody else in here had a blowjob during a hurricane? What if I've given one. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> all right, I'm in. Fist uh, bump. But inside, who's bragging now? Uh, <laughs> Daniel went outside. And that's where, like, you're. Were you in outside the or inside? Inside. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, the roof off, blow off. Out, that off, counts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Off the team. Um, we made a, a fort in the house. Does that count? Uh, a fort? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that means. Like she's Listen, like, there, like, no bones about it. Sam is the most adventurous of anybody on this program. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sexually, when it comes yeah. to sexually. Oh, yeah. you know, I'm not even going to go down that road. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I just I can look at her eyes and tell that she's seen some things <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah. make some things happen. She's mm-hmm. a mover and a shaker. Yeah, yeah. And a frog. <laughs> next, in line, <laughs> ne- next in line would be me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then it would I don't g- know. Then it's Butler. I, then it's, then I think it's... Butler is either tied with me or, or second place. No. no. Butler's a boring Brit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, dude. How dare you? No sex, please. You. We we find British. He yeah. throws out little tidbits of information all the time, and yeah, I'm like, you, he's a Bulgarian. But his wife is not. Yeah, yeah. We don't know that. He She's wants to be. sweet. She's a sweet. She only wears white. Yeah. A doctor. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweet, <laughs> intelligent like an angel. doctor angel. She's for sure embarrassed by Butler. Oh, I've come to yeah. that conclusion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. you're yeah. definitely referred to as her dumb husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 100%. 100%. 100%. So, yeah. Even in my house, that's what I call oh, her. It's like, remember when uh, <laughs> that old billionaire used to bring Anna Nicole around to like uh, his functions and shit? Uh, that's what happens. Like, uh, the people, all uh, his friends and family, are uh, looking at Anna Nicole like yeah. 
uh, Travis's wife's friends and family. Oh, yeah. They definitely look at her and feel sorry for her. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, they're like, <laughs> I heard he's some podden ass salesman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, he's special needs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he may made up that job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does it sound real? <laughs> All he does is buy marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every day. Yeah. yeah. A new product every day. Um, real quick, because uh, I uh, just talked to Tony right before the show, he informed me that uh, our cruise, we're using a different cruise line for next year's cruise. We're using Billy's Cruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope it goes well. Yeah, yeah. Bring <laughs> your own life jacket. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah, it's going to... Yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit different. It's bring your own slot machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's just in Winter Park. You're going to be on a lake <laughs> yeah. in Winter Park. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when you used to be able to shoot skeet off the back of a cruise ship? Yeah, yeah, I shoot skeet all over the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> um, so uh, this particular Makes cruise it line. It does. Which one is it? Oh, does anybody know? Uh, Royal Caribbean. Royal Royal Caribbean. Caribbean. Mariner of the Seas. Mariner of the Mariner? Seas? Mariner. 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 I like Mariner better. I like Mariner better. Um, yeah. Mariner it, wiener. It, <laughs> it's also going to uh, the... Uh, Coco Cay, uh, which is an island that we have been to in the past, but now they built a, uh, a water park, a water park yeah. on uh. it, and it's uh, it's no fully functioning uh, right. Yeah, no go kart <laughs> there. Uh, stands a wave, uh, yeah, but yeah. anyway, rock the, wall. The prices Laser tag. go, go will up. Will the ship be able to get to this island? Or are we yes, going to have to stay on the ship? Yes, there's a dock. They oh. built a dock. Yeah, yeah. A dock. How dare, don't criticize it. Yeah, they <laughs> built a dock. Yeah. And nothing says Caribbean more like a man-made water park. You know, when you <laughs> yeah. can get out there. Right. And yeah. How many, you ma- have the how many macaws, <laughs> how many macaws heads were severed just so you could put a neon green pipe <laughs> <laughs> that I could slide yeah, through? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like I could be swimming in this like literally Caribbean waters, Caribbean waters that were, were forged by millions of just days of uh, of of the sun and the tides. Mm. Uh-uh. I want fucking wet and wild there stuka. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the prices go up in July um, substantially. So uh, what Tony told me is uh, before July hits, as long as you put your deposit down, um, then uh, it's fully refundable too up until December. So uh, just put your deposit to hold the price in now. It's like eight hundred and seventy-five dollars uh, for two people for an inside cabin. Yes, sir. And uh, eleven ninety-five for a balcony. And those prices will go up in July. So put your deposit down just to hold those prices. Even if you're not sure if you can go, just hold the price. And then uh, if you can't go, you can get a full refund. There you go. Uh, up until December. So uh, that's just a, a tip for you guys. And don't like if you wait till after July. Do what go I up do. A lot you buy. A room, or at least put your deposit down, and then cancel it right before Christmas. You didn't use that money, and you can use that money for your children's <laughs> present. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Keeps you from using them on drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll Tony hold, we'll it. hold yeah. it for you. That's for, what uh, I do. It's a Tom and Dan money holding scam. I yeah. can do that if you guys just want to give me all the money. I'll hold it <laughs> yeah. for you. Will you hold some money for yeah. me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so Bustecker's here. He's been yeah, uh, world traveler. He's been in Europe for how long? Over how there, Sixteen days. Sixteen hours. Over there, long vacation. Burning down churches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you actually, uh, I, I had a dream that you were smoking in the uh, Notre Dame shower, <laughs> and you caught it on fire. <laughs> uh, so uh, tell us about your trip. Where'd you go to first? So we went to France first, my uh, wife and I. Uh, what, 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 March thirty first. So yeah, it was sixteen days. Went to France. Okay. Went to Paris. We were there for about three days. Where'd you stay? Did you stay in? So uh, first night we stayed at like a nice hotel. I, I found some sort of deal online, and it was uh, right in like the center of Paris. Le Red Roof. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next two, three nights, we stayed at a friend's house. Oh, uh, her apartment. Hey, you had the friend in Paris? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, my wife has a friend in Paris. Oh, and so yeah. yeah. Stereotypical uh, very, French name. Very, uh, her name's JP. <laughs> oh, okay. JP. Yeah. JP. Is she an yeah. uh, uh, old truck driver? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a small French apartment. We slept in like the living room, and they had like a bedroom, and that was it. It, it looked like a New York apartment. Yeah, yeah. Right. But it was cool. It was really, really cool. And we went to all these museums, went to Versailles. Hopped on one of those scooters, which they don't have here in, in Orlando yet. You know, have you ever seen those like electronic scooters? The little they look like razors, ones. but are they're they, not razors. Are they the little scooters that all the teens in like Seattle are like they smash them and break yes. them all to pieces? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Are they like like you stand on? It's them a like razor a scooter. scooter, but okay. it's powered. Okay. And it's electric. Electric, electric yeah, yeah. razors. And they're like the Lime bikes here. Actually, Lime has a company. Their companies in Paris as We're well. We're getting those scooters. They're super cool. We're supposed to get the Lime 
scooters, the the little ones. Hold on, they're not super cool. They, well, <laughs> well, I mean, getting around. I, so yeah. I'll say, getting around uh, a city, yeah, I'd yeah. have to pay for a cab. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to walk. And we but just, if you get, yeah. let's say, you drive they're your lime scooter. Yes. Okay, you jump for on your nurse. little, uh, you know, Parisian scooter. You scoot up to the Eiffel Tower. Where do you leave it? Do you bring Anywhere it? Anywhere you want. Yeah, but does somebody? If somebody comes and takes it, then, then I can get another one that's right on the sidewalk, like the other one. What if they run out? They don't. There's I've always so worried many. about. That's how then my anxiety works. Like I get on this line bike, I ride up to Dolphin Bar, uh-huh. and I leave it there. I go inside and have a you know a drink. I come back out. There's no bikes anywhere. Then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, right, you can you can lock it to where only you can get it back. You have to pay for that though. So if you're there for like 30 minutes, it's fine. If you're there for like four hours, you're paying the whole time. With the scooter gotcha. or with the bike. Gotcha. But a lot of times there's just so many around that, you know, it's not a big deal. Also, you have a map on your phone. So if you're like, oh, my God, where's the nearest one? You can just find it on your phone. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Did you go to the Eiffel Tower? Uh, I saw it. Did you go <laughs> into it? No, no. No. I did go to the catacombs to your uh, Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, um, did, did, did you get? Skulls? Yeah. I did. I mean, there's six million in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You walk so, down in there, you're like, yep, a lot of skulls. Yeah, that's and, pretty much how it was. Like, you're like, all right, I, I've seen it. And not only is there <laughs> a wall of skulls, because they use skulls and femur bones as the wall. So it's like skull, femur bone, skull, femur, like, and then Behind it, if you were able to like stand so up, your and look, original binary code. It's <laughs> all the other bones oh, yeah. just piled up yeah. like eight They're foot not, high. They were good. It. They didn't make the cut. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So basically, the the catacombs, like they had graveyards all around Paris at one point, but they were starting to sink in. Yeah, this was back in like the 1200s, 1300s. So they were like, we need to put them all in one place, and so they dug them all back up. And then they put them in these catacombs. Yeah. Now they're all there. And the catacombs were old mines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. So then, and an artist, it, it was a weird story where the person put in charge of like transporting these bones was like an artist. And he decided to make the bones into walls and like they around columns and like artwork and stuff, which was what a weird What would thing. stop me from, do they search you going in? No. So no. like what no, would no, stop no, me was, from. Well, there was like a metal detector. Yeah, but I mean like, a, you know, I have a, a this jacket on and in my jacket I have like. <laughs> steal some bones. Let me know, my bones? wife's skull and I put her in there. Oh, like you bring a skull. Yeah, in there. Bring that, you skull. probably could bring you your probably skull could. in there and then stick BYOS. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. might look a little new compared yeah, to yeah, the yeah, other you, you gotta I'll, tatter it, yeah. dirty it up a little. I'll, I'll shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta rub some <laughs> dirt on it. Yeah, I'll so, shit on it. Don't rub it shit in on your wife's skull. <laughs> rub it in some mud. Uh, She's it. already dead. Yeah. Did you? When you were disrespectful. So you were there, Tom, right? Yes. Did you touch any of the bones? Oh, I touched them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to touch them just to see. Yeah. Plus, I wanted sure to, they're real. Yeah. I wanted to get the powers of <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. of their tuberculosis yeah. or whatever. They Did do. you get the powers? <laughs> I got the powers. <laughs> um, Maybe that's the origin of the orb. What's weird is when you walk down into the catacombs uh, and back up, you walk down this uh, cement spiral staircase. Yeah. And it kind of gives you vertigo because you keep walking down and you expect to see the end. And and you see just more and more stairs. Like it's some. How like, dark is it down there? It's they have lights. Yeah, they have lights and everything. It's not super. It's super far down. It's like a. It felt like it was like a hundred. Yeah, feet you. Down you or so. I mean, like I'm telling you, after about ten minutes of walking down this spiral, and you had staircase, to go all the way back up on those stairs. Yeah, oh. No, on, on at the end, the other end. So you walk across, like through Your the catacombs. Legs are killing you. And then it's not that bad. <laughs> it's just it's weird because as you what you're like okay, there's an ending, and then it seems like oh my god, there's no end to this. If it you know, collapsed, you would eventually be just become what is around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you Which think about it. Eerie. Yeah. I don't so, know if there's earthquakes in there. I would say the first night we were there, so we got there at like noon on a Sunday or something, and we did a bike tour the first night. So mm. it was a night bike tour. Went to all these sites, went to Notre Dame, went to uh, just all over. And so after the tour, and I, I want to get your opinion on what I should have done, because I'll tell you what Uh-oh. I did do. Oh, no. So, did you uh, get bullied? After the, after the <laughs> tour, it was like probably 11 o'clock. We were kind of hungry, my wife and I. were like, all right, where can we go to eat? And so somebody's like, if you just go around the block, there's a bar there. They have awesome food. All right. So we drop our bikes off. We're walking. And it's pretty dark. And, and we look down this road, this alley, and these guys are just beating the hell out of this other guy. And really? and we're probably a hundred yards from it, uh, and then this is like a scene from Spider-Man. Totally, yeah. <laughs> and then, you got to stay out of that. And then you saw you see uh, like a two by four swinging. <gasps> oh no! And then I'm like, we're not going. You got to get out of that. And, and so like, but then you feel bad. You're like, is Could there I an emergency done? number you yeah. can call? Seven one. I don't even speak French. I mean, I think, or is it seventeen? <laughs> 
Yeah, seventeen is the nine one one. Yeah, you got to call. And, and my phone, but my phone doesn't work there. Well, I didn't go have to the a, international go to a, service. Go to like a business that's near it and tell someone the, to call. The reason I know that is because every dream I have, I'm a Parisian spy, and, <laughs> and people call seventeen. Do you, and you just I, keep walking. I, you watch a murder. No, I, yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, but you should have called like their emergency number. All right, I probably should have. I mean, you shouldn't have gotten involved, though. If, no. that's, if that was your original that's question, question, if a motherfucker's Hell swinging no. a two by four, you no get way. the fuck out of there with your wife, dude. You're yeah. not from around there. No, been some... you're an American hero. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a French guy. Yeah, but we he's know. not trained My in pop fighting. Told me. Now, Seth Petrozelli, Although... who Although... hates Paris, he would should step in. <laughs> but see, Bus is so nice. Maybe he could talk them out of no. beating the shit out of No, too late. It was no. too late by yeah. the time. They're all yeah. skinny. What do you say at that point? I know you just. Hey, guys. Hey, sirs. I know. Oh, you just killed that man with a two by four, yeah. but let's talk about it. Uh, all the, yeah, the all these Parisians, the dude, yeah, you could take them. You're a big, uh, <laughs> tall American what giant. They, what do they look like? I don't know. It was so far away, I couldn't see it. It was dark. Would you not oh, have your glasses? God. No, it was dark out. Mm. Um, all right, so I probably should have called 17 yes. or yeah. something. I think it's 17. Mm. I may be wrong on that. Um, so uh, so that was Paris. But yeah, I yeah. think, does it 911, no matter where you're at, your phone will dial whatever is- I think it will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, necessary at that time. And you don't need serve, or like you need service, I guess, but you don't need a plan or like, even with your- You don't even need your phone, phone to be on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think 911 will work uh, no matter what on any phone, wherever you are. Maybe. I yeah. Know. Somebody in our uh, our Twitch chat um, room, twitch.tv slash Live said, just had a tornado touch down. Got to go. Oh, my God. Uh, where are you going to go? <laughs> well, you can go out there and fight you it. You go in the bathroom, yeah. right? Hide in the tub. Take it's the computer with you. Don't stop listening to us just because of a <laughs> yeah, fucking tornado. Yeah, we yeah, need yeah. all don't the listeners we pussy. can get. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Don't yeah, be a bus decker. Yeah, yeah. Be active. Yeah, yeah. Do don't something let about Let some it. guy die in front of yeah, you. Yeah, call nine one one. My God. Oh yeah, try and get a try and get a blowjob in the tornado. <laughs> yeah, Zach. Thank you. Yeah, Sam. that's one up and finally a voice of reason on the program. So, what'd you think of the Palace of Versailles? It was all right. So I did go to the Versailles. We actually had tickets to go to Versailles the palace and the gardens and so i'll tell you this so we get there at like nine o'clock and they open at nine yeah and the line is oh it's like out there yeah crazy long so we get there and it's it's pretty long and so i get in line and my wife goes up to the person at the front and they're like hey uh can we go into the gardens now and then just get back in line later he's like yeah you should probably go do that there's no line there just go walk around the gardens so we do that i get out of line mistake we get out of line. Oh, we walk no. around the gardens. We come back, and the line's like four times as long. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I ended up waiting like two hours. Hour and a half to get into the building. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we just had to like zip through the building because we had to get somewhere else. So I just like walked through every room. Yeah, it's not that Super, impressive. Yeah, the, once you see one room, you're like, oh, this is pretty cool. And you're like, oh, every other room looks just like this one. It's all ornate, like yeah. gold just leaf. Super like, yeah. opulent, crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. Like the every square inch of a, this giant room with like a king bed in it has decorative, like little carvings yes. and wallpapers and gold leaf leaf trim and it's like it's it's insane and like chandeliers and um and then the gardens uh like me and my wife when we were there we did like the most french thing we could think of was like rent some bicycles and like uh get some bread and wine <laughs> seriously <laughs> and then ride our bicycles around the because they, they say gardens but it's basically like a like long reflection ponds kind of like uh, you see in DC yes. area like yeah. and square like uh lakes for lack of a better like pretty big and it goes long and there's like trees around it you go, and you Ugh. bought a you bought like a six pack of Heineken from some Asians <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah oh there's a lot yeah. of did you notice a lot of like <laughs> Um, yeah. Like African guys, like selling knickknacks and oh, yeah. uh, and Heinekens oh, and yes. buckets. Of, uh, Heinekens How much were with... the Heinekens? I never even asked. Oh, you didn't buy a Heineken? No. Uh, were they like a year? You're no oh, American. Um, I don't know. No, they were like more than that. more than but, that. Yeah, like uh, I, I I don't know. I mean, they were probably scamming us. Like whatever <laughs> they told us, we we're just like, I don't know what this money is. A monopoly money. <laughs> oh, Take it all. God. <laughs> and uh, buy cigarettes from them too. Uh, and they'll run and get you one if they don't have one. Uh, so you and your books. wife uh, sat on a blanket <laughs> mm, yeah, or yeah. sat in a field eating bread and smoking cigarettes? Yeah, oh yeah, with some wine. Um, then, so, uh, I feel like that's Paris. Is that what you do in your <laughs> yeah, backyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> Christmas in front yard of the <laughs> van's house. Exactly. <laughs> how was um, your total, like, how long were you in Paris for? Four, four three days. Okay. And then we went to Germany. Okay. What did you, you think took of Germany? Train? Uh, flew. Oh, okay. Flew to Berlin. Berlin was cool. 
yeah, yeah. Berlin was like super modern because yeah. they don't have old buildings there because they all got bombed out during in World, World War II. II. Yeah, yeah. We did a bike tour there too. Did a lot of bike tours. Well, that's cool though. Yeah. But you like you also stayed in a in a tent, did you not? Uh, I, I was in Scotland. So in Berlin, we stayed at another friend's house. Oh, that was yeah, a, he's got friends German around friends. the world. Oh yeah, my God. yeah. Which well, Germany was cool because you can drink anywhere there. Like you can drink bottles of beer. Anywhere you want. Yeah, like, yeah walk uh, around walk the street. Around. You can do it in, in Paris, too. Like, at, at the local, like, uh, basically food trucks, but uh, they're, like, kind of food trailers, um, you can buy beers from there. I remember thinking how cool it was. Like, you can get, uh, you could buy, you know, like, uh, Parisian beers and then yeah. just walk around the street. You can do that in Savannah. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. They should do it <laughs> everywhere. You can do that, that, yeah, can do that in this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Can you it's walk illegal. around with beers? I walk can, around with beers all the time. You can, yeah, but I think it is an open container. Not I don't say legal. anything to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Thank talking you. to the cop, throwing my beer bottles into a trash can. Yeah, in Baldwin, they're like, hey, they look the other way. If I you, think they do. Yeah, yeah. If, uh... You know, you were look different than you do. Right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what you're saying is I'd be tackled if I was a black guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, Probably yeah. so. So then we went to Scotland. Scotland's where we camped. So we took all of our camping gear. Tents, you know, who was bag. holding your camping gear or did you ship it to yourself? No, we just packed it in a, a red suitcase, a big suitcase. Yeah. So we had backpacks for our clothes and everything. And then all of our camping stuff was in a, a check bag. For 16 days, you were able to carry enough clothes or were you guys kind of stinky? A little more or less. Yeah, mm. we, we actually no, we washed some clothes. So it wasn't like you we guys are sixty nine and much, were you? Because <laughs> you're a lot of bike a, riding. You're, staying, you're riding a lot of bike. That's a lot yeah. of. We had showers and and uh, laundromats or, or, yeah, or not laundromats, but you but get you might get a rash. There oh, was a few so, days where it was probably a few days between shower and yeah. some of those days. So you went from yeah. France to uh, Germany, then over to Scotland. Yes. Why'd you do it? That it seems because I, if I know my geography and right, I may even don't. But uh, it's, it was shorter from France to uh, Scotland, right? Uh, the flight from Orlando to Paris was really cheap. So that's yeah. why we flew oh, yeah. Save yeah, the yeah. money. Yep. Well, I'm just saying, like, uh, why don't you go from Paris to Scotland, then to Germany? I don't oh, know. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. No, I guess it really <laughs> doesn't matter. Just the way they play Did the you trip? fly back from Scotland? No, flew back from Manchester, England. So we oh, actually okay. flew to Manchester, drove up to Scotland, drove back to Manchester, came to Orlando. What would you see in That's Germany? That's a hell of a trip, man. Oh, yeah. It was, it was was Germany, this something you'd been planning for a long, long not time? Not really, no. spur of the moment, I, I think. my wife saw something on TV and was like, we should go to Europe. And oh, wow. so but, uh, the flight to Paris was ridiculously cheap. But then the flight home was kind of expensive, so it all evened out in the end. What uh, what did you get the flight to Paris for? It was like a hundred. It was like three hundred and eighty bucks for both of us. Wow, really? It was super cheap. One way? Yeah. Yeah. That is cheap. That's On Norwegian fantastic. Air. It was like the Spirit Airlines. Of, of, was it a little rough? A little flight? bit, but it was yeah. fine. Whatever. I slept the whole time. Um, but then in Scotland, like I said, we just camped everywhere. And in, in Scotland, you can camp anywhere. They have a law that says uh, it's called the right to roam. And you can camp anywhere you want, even on people's property. Really? Yeah, they, they suggest that you ask the people, but you don't you don't really have to. It's kind of weird. It's Although we only, we only, we ended up doing that only once. We every other place it was like a campsite. But there was one night we just like pulled off to the side of the road and it looked nice, and so we stayed right there. Were you worried at all that any thugs would? Uh... You know, no, they're all in France, so um, and, uh, <laughs> two by four, your brains out. No, like, I mean it was really sparsely populated there, so you didn't really see people outside of like the main cities. Like, sure. there's just a sheep everywhere, like just uh, mil like millions of sheep everywhere. Yeah, what's uh, did you get to pet a sheep? Uh, we got pretty close to them. They kind of run away from you. It was lambing season while we were there, so there's baby lambs everywhere. Oh um, my god! <laughs> what I would be <laughs> crying day in and day out. Did you go to a big city in Scotland? Edinburgh, okay. which was awesome. That's probably my favorite city now. Really? Oh, wow. so good. What? Yeah. Uh, what's what's cool? Like Just compared like, to like Paris, because Paris. Stereotypically, most people go like, "Oh, that's the coolest city I've ever been." Please to. say that you just loved all like city life with you and your baby lambs. <laughs> there, there weren't really many baby lambs in the city. Okay, but like in Edinburgh, so there's two sides of Edinburgh. There's the old part and the new part. And the old parts, all the streets are like you know different directions and like crazy. crazy and then the new yeah. part, it's all like uh, like square, like uh, like they they like plan it out. Yeah. yeah. And so there's just like a million pubs and bars and cool restaurants and coffee shops. And it's just a cool city. Tell me if you thought this when you're over there and all the cities and stuff. Um, like I found it fascinating that uh, they didn't treat people like babies. And <laughs> it was because they're less litigious than we are. So, you know, you don't have to put a yellow stripe on every single step. They don't have to be a guardrail on every yeah. single like. 
in Paris, um, there's that big canal yep. system that runs through, and a lot of places there's no even uh, fence. You like, no. you just like if you weren't you're looking at your phone, you could walk into the canal <laughs> and fall in some stinky doo doo water. But, oh, I, also, did you notice that all the subways smell like pee pee? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yeah. not in Berlin, not in Germany. They were clean. No, man. yeah, in Paris though, pee pee crazy. Did they can't get rid of that. <laughs> I have no idea. Bums must piss crazy because, I, like, right when you walk in, you're hit. By a, uh, because uh, you said it's you, like hot pee pee. Well, it's cold because it's colder <laughs> down there. Uh, you know, cold just, yeah, yeah. So cold air pee pee. I think hits cold pee pee be worse than no yeah. hot pee pee is bad. Cold pee pee is bad. There's some he, parking garages in Orlando that smell like pee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying <laughs> every, the worst every I've subway ever is bad. smelled is uh, is the infield at the Daytona 500. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The, the bathrooms. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> but did you Terrible. enjoy that? That they uh, they kind of just like. Hey, you're an adult. Uh, don't fucking walk in front of a bus or fall into a lake or yeah. uh, what? Like, so you know, there don't was get a hit by a two we were, by four. When we were in Edinburgh, there's a big mountain there where you can kind of climb up right in the middle of the city, and it's called Holly Road, Holly Road, something like that. And so you walk up and you get to the top, and it's literally just like straight down, and there's nothing to stop you from just jumping off that thing. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. I'm sure people have fallen. Super you know, windy you, up you've there. You've seen all those people that are dying now from selfies. Yeah, that one girl died. Yeah, out um, of the tower. Yeah. Yeah, or uh, she was on like a hanging rock. Well, that uh, was somebody just locally. Someone the Grand Canyon like a week or two ago, the, too. I think one of the ones you're talking about was a local person. Yeah. But was it? She yeah, was but, sort of pushed, though. Yeah. Like, she, somebody was trying to edge her yeah. out. Like, I don't... Yeah, the, you're, the story, it's a friend of the yours. Stories yeah. that I, I, I knew of her. I didn't really know her. There were stories that she was trying to take a selfie. That wasn't really accurate. She was there with a, her camera, oh, man. and I think somebody else sort of knocked her while she was... Jeez. Well, recently, oh, it God. was that woman that fell out of the tower. Oh, which tower? It was like this week. There was some, I, I can't remember the exact tower, Sam. You could probably it's look it local up. local or no? No, it wasn't local, but it was a, a, a girl who was just taking a picture and you know was moving to get the selfie and fell out of the tower and died. Holy shit. Um, so they're they're trying to like like you're to kind of go into what you're talking about. They're trying to post more signs to tell people like, hey, you know, selfies are great and all, but you know, pay mm, fucking yeah, attention yeah, yeah, yeah. to what you're doing. Oh, uh, she fell out of uh, at Fordham University. She dies after falling from iconic campus clock tower, apparently while trying to snap a picture. God, it's uh, so sad, man. I don't understand how that uh, happens. Like, I don't know. I guess if you don't like, I get a little vertigo and like. Uh, and and heights. That's you my know rap I mean? name. Like <laughs> Little Vertigo. She also, she <laughs> she also vertigo. snuck into the clock tower around three a.m. So it's like she was doing something she wasn't supposed to she be doing. Fucked up. Yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a. Uh, we you're, should you're we should all up. speculate and make it work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just reading alien. the article. <laughs> but going back to she's uh, probably a vampire and gay. <laughs> <laughs> like what are, what are you talking about? <laughs> the uh, but did you find that like a breath of fresh air? The fact that. You know, they, they kind of, you don't have to have warnings everywhere and the yellow lines. And all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, that's not, I, I think that is a lot in the United States they do that. Well, just even the up in camping Canada, thing. I don't think they do that. The, yeah. The Scottish camping thing, we would never have that. Either. No, you've been killed, like you're camping there, so they're shooting you, like, you're on my property. Yeah, because you know? oh, everybody's yeah. so possessive of everything, you know, mm. like, get off my land. You know? Oh, yeah. well, I have my kids uh, will want to do some snow angels in the grass. Everybody <laughs> attacks me crazy. Yeah, I can uh, just go camp in a field in Scotland. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went Take to the kids of Scotland. We yeah. went to the the Oban. ultimate snow angels. <laughs> we went to the Oban Distillery up in Oban, like the Scotch. Yeah, went to another one called Talisker, which is another cool, whiskey. Man. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh, I bet. Yeah, drinking whiskey. How did you find the people to be? Were they very nice? Everybody or? was nice. Yeah, especially in Scotland, everybody was nice. We actually picked up a hitchhiker too. I forgot about that. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. There was a, a French woman. She had a sign to the city that we were driving to, and so we pulled around and picked her up and. Gave her a ride to the next city. Did she talk to you at yeah, all? Yeah, no, or? she was super nice. And we asked her, like, aren't you, like, kind of worried about it? She's like, no, everybody's great here in Scotland. Everybody's really nice to me. So. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, you could hitchhike here in the United States and be fine. I mean, like, what's, mm -hmm. like, every, you know, once in a while, and by once in a while, I mean, like, you know, one in a million, um, there's a, like, you know, serial killer. That, yeah, uh, but it's, like, really bad stuff, it, you know? Right. It's not just, like, a killer. It's usually, like, uh he likes to cut off their heads and then fuck their neck holes. Yeah, that, you know, it's like it's probably all, happened like, once. way too far, you like, know? And then, uh, like, I remember, like, there was a, a serial killer, like, a long time ago, man, 20 years ago, those pitch picking up hitchhikers and killing them. Or, 
like, uh, you know, the uh, hitchhiker that killed the motorist or whatever. But, I mean, the statistics are you're completely safe. You pick yeah. up any hitchhiker, you're fine. You know? yeah. Tell them large Mars! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it used to be a viable way to travel. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm going this way. You're driving that way. Can I just sit in the back of your truck or car? Yeah. You're a lot safer as a man doing that than you are a woman. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. We also that. went to the, the Loch Ness Museum. Oh, where they? Uh, oh, so it's a museum of things that don't exist. <laughs> uh, well, they they broke it down and how they were searching for Nessie and what they've done and what they found. Are they still searching for? Nessie? I think so. That shit's got to be dead, right? <laughs> Even if it was real, it's dead as fuck now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it wasn't real. And uh, they've uh, they even they have a thousand accounts that it's a real. Yeah, uh-huh. it's real. Well, because uh, a thousand drunk Scottish people <laughs> or tourists. Well, it's tourists. They got to be like they, they have see to a keep bird. That, they have to keep that moving, That's right? Why we Went there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a tour. It's the like fucking uh, Bigfoot and all that shit. It's yeah, but a, like th- this is like a, an actual thing. Is oh, there a? It's an is economy. There a, is there a place where you can go that's like officially licensed Bigfoot? Because this is like officially I, licensed. I'm sure there's a Bigfoot museum somewhere. Right. But is it like because this is real? Like this is the well, the, the people actual, of like, Loch Ness have created this thing. Mm. So if you go there and you buy, they probably get t-shirts. Right? Oh yeah, so if you my buy, wife got a t-shirt. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Fuck, I'd get a fucking Loch Ness. She get the Loch Ness shirt. It's an officially licensed Loch Ness shirt. Well, you went to the lake, right? Yeah, well, yeah, there, but there's a museum there too. Yeah, but I'm saying it's like it, you could buy a Loch Ness shirt anywhere. But if you get it from the actual right. lake, mm. that's cool. But my point is, do we have anything here that's even close to that? that well, there's. I don't know. Is is Bigfoot? No. Swamp ghost. Swamp cabbage man. Whatever. Well, maybe like a Roswell thing. Maybe a New Mexico. Roswell's okay. a w- one for the aliens, but uh, I don't know if there was like a specific place that Bigfoot was like famous for being spotted right. in. I um, feel like it'd be somewhere in Utah, Georgia or North Squatch. Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. somebody. Yeah, they're talking about uh, Squatch museums. Yeah, they, yeah, they, but they're not in Loch Ness, the actual lake. And the thing about that lake is, I think it's a glacier lake. They say it's th- it has as much water in that lake as every other lake and river in Scotland. It's yeah, that yeah. deep. That's what they said. Wow. Yeah, it's. Uh, Have they been to the bottom before? I think so. I think so. Yeah, they've sent. Like, I've been to the museum. I should know. Was the it like James Cameron or somebody went to the bottom? <laughs> it's not that deep. I mean, I like uh, you can get down there pretty easy. I think. Can um, you ski on the lake, or is it like not that kind of lake? I think so. Maybe. It's there. Are there <laughs> other houses on the lake? Yeah, I mean, not like how they're not like right there. I mean, okay. but they're around there. Oh, you'd have to have a dock on it, right? It'd be pretty rad to have a lock. This uh, the dock. A lock on the, dock. Yeah, have a lock <laughs> dock. Yeah, a dock on the lock. Um, what was your favorite uh, thing you did on your trip? I like the biking around Paris, although mm. I like Scotland the best as a city or, or as a country. What was the place you liked the least? Uh... You haven't said much about England. Well, I so I will say so I used to live in Manchester for about six months, going to school there. Name drop. And no, no, but but I will say like going back, it was weird because it it wasn't as cool as I remember it being. Oh really? Yeah, like I got there, I'm like, this is it's kind of dumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's a it's it was fun. Like we had a good time. I met up with some old friends. I felt that way like the last time I went to L.A. Yeah. I remember the first time I went to L.A. I was like, this. Oh my God, this is where the movies is happening. <laughs> and then you go there enough times, and like the last oh, time, shitty, yeah. Man. When we yeah. went, I'm like, this is kind of shitty. That's I'm how eating I chili was. dogs. I got diarrhea. We have to catch a plane. I was like, this <laughs> isn't good. I'd I went to be... like all these old bars I used to hang out, and like these are kind of shitty bars. Yeah. <laughs> like, the second but time you've going anywhere. Too, totally. You know I mean? Totally. I did have black pudding though while I was in. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Else. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Has a black pussy. <laughs> 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 how, how? Like I didn't know you. <laughs> what is that? I was like, you have. A f- you thought my wife was nice. <laughs> so it's uh, it's blood, pig's right? blood. Yeah. With oats in it. That so it's, sounds disgusting. It was, it was very good, actually. It was a breakfast thing. They, they usually do it for breakfast. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <'cause, 'cause laughs> pig's blood and oats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely a breakfast thing. Uh, mm. Now dangerous. you know why I love yeah. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> blood <laughs> for breakfast? Coagulated yeah. blood? Oh, yeah, with God. oats, and then they fry it. So. Uh, Clot omelet. It, it sounds wanna, gross. I don't <laughs> want it. Yeah, um, did your wife eat it? No, no, she didn't. No, she's she not. Know. She's a good American. <laughs> yeah. You are. That's terrible. <laughs> um, you, what do you pay for a a, a blood? It was pudding? actually free. <laughs> yeah, with them. So I got <laughs> a full, like nobody yeah. orders it. Take I got it. the full English <laughs> breakfast, which is like uh, sausage and eggs and beans yeah. and mushrooms and tomato. I like tomato. the tomato and the yeah. beans. The the beans I and toast. I like the beans yeah. on a on a proper English breakfast. I dig it. It mm. all went. 
together really good. Because I like yeah. the smush my sausages or whatever yeah, into the bean sauce. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. yeah. Soak it up with some toast or something. Yeah. So then the waitress is like, well, do you want black pudding? I was like, well, I don't really know what it is. She's like, it's pig's blood yeah. and oats. And I was like, eh. She's like, you, you should try it. So I tried it and it was good. What it taste like? Uh, like sausage, a little. Does it have nah. a penny's taste to it? <laughs> like the it's blood, like copper, <laughs> iron, <laughs> iron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It tastes like pennies. Where uh, and and when you were in Scotland, how long did you stay in Scotland for? Almost six days, six seven days. We what, were there the longest. What uh, is that the is Scotland the place you were the like where they go by the ocean? What are those things called? Like giant hills, like cliffs. Uh, by the ocean, <laughs> colored cliffs of Dover. Yeah, 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 yeah. like needles. I, is that, yes. Is that, is that, is that? Okay. Well, and then people. Is that in Scotland where there's giant cliffs? I mean, and they it's do the have ocean? giant cliffs next to the yeah. ocean. Okay, yeah, but th- that's a famous place that people go all the time, right? Famous in England. Yeah. Uh, is it in England or Scotland? I believe I think, the colored cliffs of Dover is. I think that's in England. Yeah, it's okay. in England. Yeah, Scotland was cool though. I mean, it was really pretty there. Like, what kind of like food said, you get in Scotland? Did you eat any puffin? No puffin. I'm trying to think, like, because we went camping some nights, so we had like camping food. <laughs> What's uh, camping food? It's like pasta and whatever we. Oh, could you? Find. Had yeah, you, we made it. Had yeah, you yeah. pre cooked that at your friend's house? Prepared? No, your... we made it there. Like we would, just, we had like a little stove that. Oh, we that's would, yeah. I'm proud of you. That's yeah. that's awesome. But then some nights we would just go to the. You're bar one of my eat. favorite people, like you and your wife, because I think you guys do. Uh, and I'm not at all joking. I I think it's cool that you guys do like real adventures. I'm very jealous. Of the way that you do things, because I know if I went, especially now with a kid, there's no way in hell I could do that until Maisie gets a little older, and even then she ain't gonna want to do it, you know. It was cold, but I the, will say, there but the idea of like kind of roughing it just a little bit to make the it more adventurous is very cool to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really cool, man. Yeah, I will say my wife is better at putting the tent up than I am. Oh, they all always are. Yeah. Women are always better at that. Yeah, I always gave Andrea that, and I said, look, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Look for uh, wood and proper places to shoot uh, pee pee water balloons <laughs> at people. Yeah, like you I, put up the tent, and then I'll cook tonight. You know, or I'll uh, you know do something. I'll yeah, inflate the mattress. Yeah. yeah, she actually drove the whole time too. What did you do? <laughs> you I enjoyed are a, my vacation. He's a kept man. Um, the, here's the thing. Uh, putting up a tent. I've always said this with you with your wife a is a marriage puzzle, it's and a failure a is divorce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the worst shit ever. Like every yeah. couple, just let one person do it, or or have one person be the leader. Usually the wife, wife and just and, like, and just listen to where name uh, one couple that poles. you invented on your peace river. Invited rather, not invented. And name one couple that you invited on your peace river trip that did not fight putting up a tent. No, there it is it, not. Yeah, one. It doesn't exist. It, uh, Even our worst. good friend Tony Rage and his wife when they went the last year that we went. They got into it. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, oh, it's bad. Mm-hmm. They didn't make an easier tent. Ours, I, I, ours I, isn't they, that they have hard. one now. Like ours a, is just two rods that you put up and you clip it. They have and, one now that like is like has this flexible thing inside of it, and you just kind of turn it and then throw it. Yeah, and it's yeah, just like, pop up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there it is. Although I, I'm skeptical how structurally sound those are. You know, <laughs> like a little bit of wind and it's just uh, bent over. I don't think it, I don't think it does. No. Yeah, I think they're I think they're pretty good. I, what I'm envious of are the ones that like you have like a truck, and then the back end of it's a tent. Mm-hmm. So part of your car you're sleeping in, so you actually have some shelter. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, over yeah. you, but the end sticks out, you know, and you have like two camp poles that come down that you you mount in the ground. You mm-hmm. like you anchor them in. And then the whole back of your truck becomes like a house. Yeah, those yeah. are so cool, man. It's kind of like a. Do you know uh, what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, expensive no, no. as fuck. John Mayer has one that he like just drives around, like a massive four by four. But the whole back end of it, it doesn't look like a camper, but the whole back end of it is like a tent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've but seen a nice one, like a really upgraded, like titanium looking deal. So, um, all in all, uh, would you say a great trip? Uh, yeah. yeah. What yeah. was your favorite place? Uh, Edinburgh by okay. far. Right yeah. enough time was it the the proper time or too yeah, long? It was probably or... a little long, but sixteen days is it a was long a long time. time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it was a long time. But Edinburgh, it was totally worth it to make it to Edinburgh because we went. If we wouldn't did like a week, we wouldn't have made it there. Gotcha. Did, did you uh, meet a lot of uh, when we went over to Europe? I kept meeting a lot of Australian tourists. Um, I met because, some, yeah, because they were they all travel for. I guess it's uh, partly because you're stuck on this island and there's <laughs> nothing really in Australia is ever like. There's some cool cities in the middle, just straight desert, you know, like nothing to, you know. So I guess, and because of their culture, they get a lot of uh, time on yeah, vacation. We, I, we met a couple at the bike, one of the bike 
uh, tours, they said that they were on vacation for like a month. Helmet yeah, yeah. or they no helmet? They get a helmet. month off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you wear a helmet or no helmet? No helmet. Good. Because when I saw Barack Obama <laughs> riding bikes <laughs> with that helmet on with his family, I swear to God, I've never been more embarrassed in my life. <laughs> and if you had done the same thing, I was about to tell you, get the fuck out of our studio. <laughs> Um, what, uh, what is a 16 day Europe trip? Uh, what does that run? <laughs> you? run you? I don't know. Oh, so Weird I, know what it, I know what it costs to get there and like the first part of it. Yeah. But the other part, I, yeah. I haven't looked at oh, uh, 6,000, 8,000. I, I don't think it's <laughs> yeah. that much. Cause like, we, did it. well, well, we only stayed anywhere. It was like four days that we paid for somewhere to stay. Yeah, That's but, true. He saved a lot so of lodging. I stayed, he with, stayed friends, with friends and then camp. And I stayed in a camp. So, so what about okay? So what you paid for travel? Yeah, that was. How it. much I mean, was your travel? That was total? probably probably. Two thousand. That's not bad. That's not but bad. that was three flights and a car. Yeah, yeah that's, I think that's, that's pretty that's great. Really good. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I remember when we uh, we went from Paris to uh, I think it was Berlin, somewhere in Germany. But uh, we took a train, thinking it was going to be cheap. We we're uh, like, oh fuck, we'll take the train. Eat cheap as shit. Yeah. And it was not cheap. It was like, <laughs> yeah. like three hundred and eighty bucks a person <laughs> yeah. uh, for the train ride, and it blows. Like, oh my god. My god. Plus, it takes eight hours yeah, to yeah. get from Paris. Uh, and when I went in, in, the euro was way more. Now, because uh, all the shit's going down, yeah. uh, like what uh, what was the exchange rate? It's it wasn't pretty as even, bad right? as I thought it was going to be. Because in was, England, when I used to live in England, it was two to one. Yeah, so, my, yeah, that's when I went. Now it was like one and a half to one. So, okay. like you know, something that's ten pounds is really like fifteen bucks. Were they all complaining about the uh, the Brexit? We no. had a good Brexit conversation oh, with I'm me sure. and uh, the people I used to live with. What did yeah. they think? They they were all for staying. They basically boiled it down to. The people that voted for Brexit don't like people of color. That was their, their oh, argument. Okay. They're like, they just don't want people that are different colors of them coming to England. And they... there's, I mean, they, there's probably more to it than that, but that was how they No, I understand. It. And before yeah. people jump on, yes, you're all you're doing is relaying what you what heard. What someone else yeah, said. Yeah, that's right. what she and what said. their experience is. She's like, both my parents, you know, they voted for it, and, and they just, they don't, they want England to be great again. That's exactly what oh, they said. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything to yeah. be great again. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, that, that's happened all over uh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. world. Um, and... Uh, and then, like, it's something they don't even the people that voted for it didn't didn't even know like how it was going to be possible. Or there was like uh-huh. we don't like, like, and then it's a complete mess. Or they said it's still a gigantic that was supposed mess. to happen while we were there, but they pushed it back like three six months or something like that. Did you uh, buy any souvenirs to bring home or anything? I didn't buy nothing. My wife bought stuff. Did you buy a kilt? No, no kilt. She bought some one whisk- of those hats with the ball on the top <laughs> of it. <laughs> she bought some Loch Ness stuff and some whiskey and a that's Scotty about dog it. or anything. No, none of that. Just all garbage. I don't need all that. I don't need any. You don't of that. need to buy anything. Postcards. Uh, a few, but not really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The uh, the the flight you 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 obviously flew uh, economy a coach or whatever. Like I actually, that, so we flew. We got uh, first class. We got upgraded to first class on the way home, which nice. was really no, nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say like you get a first class um, like. Uh, a transatlantic flight like that. Uh, it's w- like compared to you flying over there and coach, it's a goddamn oh, yeah. big difference. We got there. we got hot towels and all the drinks we wanted and and a, a lunch and then like a snack and then ice cream. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. That 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 is a different. Did you upgrade it or did no? They... It, it, what we, was the flight? Twelve and a half, thirteen hours. It was nine. nine from Manchester. Okay. And they just upgraded. Oh, yeah, they just upgraded. That That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, dude. congrats. Yeah, no, that, that was pretty cool. That's um, dope. So uh, you want to take a little break? Yeah, let's Should take. Should we a break. take the shot now or when we come back? Oh, let's do it now. <laughs> okay, let's do it now. Um, I don't really have any music. I'm in, like in kind of transition here, so we will <laughs> do what uh, what I like to do. I will use Blippy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers to never sweating the petty things, but always sweating. Uh, petting the sweaty thing. Oh, oh, oh god damn it. Did it. Yeah, fucking that, that, Reddit. Uh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> roll 90210. God damn it. <laughs> that and it's been uh, a while. cursing on the air last night. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that I shit thought, was I fucking funny. I thought Dan funny. was going to scream at you. Oh, uh, yeah. No, he stuck his hand up in the yeah, air and told yeah. me that. He was, he was we talked the about that. He gave them the uh, no. get the fuck out of here. Well, it was yeah, more yeah. of a get off the mic is what I was going for. But he was like, did you really want me to leave the studio? I'm like, no, no, no. It's fine. Dan was a full-blown... Revenant yeah. 8,000 anxiety. Yeah. 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 It was not good for me. Oh, my shot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Um, cheers. Mm. Well, that was Bouye, by the way. Uh, that's, what, that's what we're drinking right that's now? That's what we're drinking, uh, courtesy of BDM Jade. Nice. Thank you, Jade. Appreciate that. Ooh. We're going to take a little break. 
And come back, we've got, uh, what, emails and voicemails and then some news. Uh, some news. And let's see here. We've I'm, got good music today, buddy. What were you going to say? No, no, I think we got news. I didn't really... Uh, I, I, I did, go, I did okay. my job. No, okay, all right. I we were on vacation. <laughs> this is the strangest cover song you will ever hear. It's by a, a band called Ancient Babies. It's Come As You Are, the Nirvana hit, but it's their version. It's weird. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after this. If you want to call 1-844-T-O-M-N-D-A-N or show at TomandDan.com for emails. You gonna freestyle, buddy? <laughs> no, I we haven't done that in a while. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. <laughs> just a little <laughs> bit. Come <laughs> on. I don't know freestyle. Well, I mean, you just try to rhyme things. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. It's <laughs> <laughs> not easy. Uh, you could do it. And there's people that could do it easy, but. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I was uh, playing more music. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. Dan. Tom. Butler is uh, running around here somewhere. Our producer, Samantha, is here. The bus mm. is here. Anything to plug before we jump into it, buddy? Uh, no. We'll see. Yes. Oh. What? Oh, yes. This <laughs> Saturday at uh, Tank America, Butler's going to be there doing his laser tag. There's two different um, here we competitions go. going on. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it's like seven, seven and eight. I don't know. Butler's not here to... To remind me, but yeah, he's uh, you can call Tank America if you go to tankamerica.com, their numbers there. Give him a call and tell him you want to be involved in the Tom yeah. and Dan event, 420 it, event. Yeah, it's happening tomorrow. And Butler at, just gathered a bunch of stuff that he's bringing for prizes, yeah, yeah. even some and stuff giveaways. that's unreleased, yeah. Yes. And they're gonna have some beers there, and uh, it'll be a good time, um, at Tank America in Melbourne. So, anybody on the coast that wants to uh, hang out with Butler and play some, uh, I mean, this is tactical laser tag it's yeah. with actual uh lasers like m16s that yeah. have well, it's, a, be there. it's a pneumatic uh rifle you have yeah. to reload it you know you get yeah. to choose between it's got a kickback on like it. an ar and i forget the other one it's like submachine gun style where it's yes, automatic yeah, yeah. there's yes. like sub yeah and they have like co2 cartridges so you get the kickback and stuff and, yeah it's pretty amazing know, they, apparently like a uh, local police force like Trains train there, there seven thousand like, square foot facility to play in it's AC, really really good it's a nice indoor all right <laughs> here we Go. Just like war. <laughs> War's better in AC. Hey, hey. Yeah. News today brought to you by Porky's Barbecue and Apopka. Head over to Porky's Barbecue mm-hmm. um, for uh, some of the most delicious barbecue you're ever gonna have. I mean, Steve does an unbelievable job. He does. He's good. He's good, folks too. And yeah, patio's dog friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's bringing that. his dog out there every once in a while. That's really now. cool. Yeah. Uh, you can get their catering at Porky'sApopka.com. Uh, when got, Caesar I've dies, I'm gonna smoke him. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> can you do that? I'm sure, uh, maybe. If I get him to Steve quickly, can I smoke him? You want to eat it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I don't or like know. Or like jerky it. <laughs> that might be a better idea. Yeah, you can, you can savor Come Caesar on. for longer yeah. if you turn it savor into jerky. Yeah. What if I just put him in there and just <laughs> smoked him petrified? Do you think people... You want to stuff him? Like put him on yeah, your... Yeah, I was about your, to say that. Like, I would stuff people him. Do people that. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I and would stuff him. Is it creepy then if oh, your yeah. daughter's playing with Caesar? Well, like, I don't want her playing with oh, him. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna but go that's her best friend. Like a stuffed animal. It is her best friend. He, he'll go in the old uh, china closet. <laughs> you know, look crazy. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Give him cross eyes. And then eventually he'll start, you know, his fur will start falling out. Dude, do we put a pipe in his mouth and put him as our mascot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have, have him here in the lobby. Andrea will never let that happen. No, I won't even let that happen. Why not? I, yeah, because I, I can't. That'd be dead. awesome. We're Probably not going like to kill glass. him to do it. No, I know. Gonna... I know, but I walk in and it's depressing all the time. I'm like, there no, he scares the hell out of me. He's playing with something. He's what if I take him to the, the, the man and you and I both know the man who made all of the animatronics for <laughs> showbiz pizza 
No, oh, like, yeah, he like, lives cra- here. Crazy yeah, dude. Aaron Fector. Yeah. And what if I take Caesar there, super secret project, <laughs> I get him a metal skeleton, yeah. and we we animate him, and be like, hello, welcome to the studio. Have you seen that? <laughs> that That'd be the, dope as fuck. you seen that robot that can jump from pillar to pillar, like yeah. a parkour style? Yeah. yeah, it's scary. That's what you get him, like a tiny parkour Caesar, <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be jumping around yeah. the studio. And then you have to, you have to, because the batteries are uh, too heavy, so you have to run that wire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Running around Unplug it. him. Plug him back in <laughs> so he can go to the next pillar. Maybe uh, a Billy Bass situation yeah. with the dog. Yeah, when you want to shoot him out of a cannon? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like his uh, tiny dog corpse? Yeah, just put him in there and just poof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we uh, we get the CO2 wrong. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just kind of <laughs> falls out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, put him back in, put him back yeah, in. Yeah, you got to stuff him in a uh, uh, shell. Because yeah, what would you put him in? You uh, you do some wadding, stuff like an old a, musket. It's like, I'll go buy a volleyball and uh, Dick's <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sporting uh, Goods, and I'll Rambo knife the side <laughs> of it, and I'll peel it open, and I'll stuff him inside the volleyball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then shoot him into the Baldwin Lake. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, Bustacker. All right. right. <laughs> so some of these are inspired by my trip to uh, Europe. So, oh, great. Yeah. No, we've already talked about that for 50 minutes, so we'll just do nah, it again. You're fine. So architects and construction workers have now stabilized the damaged structure of Notre Dame Cathedral four days, well, five days now, after a fast-spreading fire ravaged the building. Uh, on Thursday, Paris police investigators said they believe an electrical short circuit most likely caused the fire at the 850-year-old building. Did you guys see the pictures from this? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. amazing. How could to you m- not? Yeah. yeah, it's amazing to me they even let it happen. It, you know, uh, like, it caused a flood of uh, people uh, bragging about be- going to Europe, uh, Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah. everybody put this like, one right here. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you were there. Like, yeah. I was two days there ago. a week ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start putting pictures of every CC's pizza when it burns down. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to put yeah. a picture of CC's pizza. <laughs> also, like, I'm, I'm going to talk about how it's affecting my life. I'm crying. Plus, like, I know a news. I'm be giving money to CC's pizza. A news personality is <laughs> not supposed to interject their own personal feelings into a story, but. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about them raising over a billion dollars to repair it? Well, I mean that that I mean that I I expected that to happen. He, I mean a billion? Yeah. So, I, so I, French, I'll so I'll read the rest of this here. So French President Emmanuel Macron is moving quickly to reconstruct the, the cathedral. He has a bold plan to get it repaired in five years. Uh, they're actually having the Summer Olympics in 2024, so I think he wants to get it done before then. Uh-huh. Only uh, to have the Olympic bold... torch restart it. Well, a lot it's... of people say that they're not going to be able to do it in five years. There's it's just a... too much work to do. Really? Like I, I feel like a billion dollars and yeah. uh, could buy you uh, uh, a I think cathedral could, repair in five years. Build, like... I feel like a bit, with a billion dollars, you could build it off-site. An entire <laughs> cathedral, and then use helicopters to fly it in and yeah, just yeah. drop it. Well, also, you mean, could build a, a professional football stadium in less than five years. What? What's uh, like? How much? Yeah, like but, they, also, but but they're dealing with you know uh, almost a thousand year old building, so they're not just gonna. Well, that's put, what, that was my point. I don't really understand. Like, you're rebuilding a historical site, right? So it's mm-hmm. not going to be the same. No, no. Well, you know? that's, so, so that's the debate right yeah. now is are they going to rebuild it how it was or are they going to use new technology and make it look different? Yeah, put some flat screens in there. Some people are <laughs> saying it, it should look right? how it did. Other people are saying, well, you know, we're in the 21st century now. We should... You got to put those should... big Planet Fitness fans <laughs> in there. The big fucking oh, ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should the building evolve since yeah. we're in the 21st century? I, I started well, to then think... It's not a, then it's not historical, right? If well, we're going to build it modern... Of a, part of it well, will be. It'll, even be a, it'll be a blend. So if you if you remember what the building looks like, there's two bell towers. Never been well, not, you know, if, you've seen, if you've ever seen a picture, mm. <laughs> there's two bell towers, and they're really old. They're like 700 years old. But then that spire that collapsed, yeah. that's only like 200 years right. old. They added that that in the last 200 years so the building's not all original obviously right. a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> well it burns so fast like everybody like my first thought and then apparently this was uh, echoed by a lot of people on the internet of uh, like <laughs> when they when you raise a billion dollars like everybody's like uh there's a lot better things you could do a billion dollars like with a billion dollars like maybe uh put it towards uh pediatric cancer it's like yeah. even though that that you know it's not gonna you there's probably no amount of money that you could say like hey we could find a cure for something you go all goes towards research but you can always find better causes for anything yes you can but and then people but then i was like let's look into why it motivated so many people to donate a billion dollars like you know because 
because a lot of tragedies happen uh, like around the world that, True. that are way worse that uh, deal with like horrible the death yeah. and stuff like no one died in this you know and like and so well, more and less money were, had been donated I saw more people outraged and sad about this than when we have school shootings where people actually pass away right no yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and I think that's sort of the sad part I'm not saying that inc- myself included you know I didn't really say anything about either you you know what but, you, because you can't really politicize this and so it's not really yeah. like uh I like, mean you could with the religion aspect that, I, saw a, lo- I saw a lot of people doing that yeah, some you people are saying you that. I mean, I'll say for me like point. we went there we had a good time we have a connection to it and you know Maybe yeah. we want to give. I, I didn't, but I could give a hundred dollars. Like, oh, I remember that part of my life where I had a really good time at Notre Dame. Did you see the cross didn't burn? <laughs> and you guys don't believe in God? <laughs> er, did like, all that shit. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about the fact that it did burn in the first place? Like everybody, uh, I love that uh, the argument of like uh, when when someone or something uh, like a cross didn't burn. You're like, oh, that's proof that there's God. Yeah. You're like, it burned. He <laughs> only the protects whole it. He only protects his cross. <laughs> 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 like, why not even stop the fire from the I will say Wait this. a minute, they still doubt me? Burn everything except the crowd. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'll get them. So one yeah. more horrible error. Uh, they had uh, beehives on the on the yeah. roof. They, they saved 180,000 bees. Okay. They, the, the bees you didn't, survived. You didn't the know fire. this? The bees survived. So How they had, did they like, survive? And you don't believe in God. <laughs> I, I don't know. Just like the the bees beehives. and the cross, everything else. Also, <laughs> yeah. all this horrible tragedy and murder, that's fine, too. <laughs> <laughs> So um, there you go. So right. the bees survived. Yes, they had some beehives on the on the roof of the building. I think they made honey. Do you know how many bees? Yeah, good job, survive? bees. You flew away. Yeah. You did what you're supposed to do. The fire, fly away. Yeah, yeah. congrats on being yeah. smart enough to get away from fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. You have wings. Uh, you can fucking make a beehive anywhere. All right. Sorry. Why Next are you mad one? at the bees? So <laughs> ask ask me how many bees. bees were there. How many bees? None of your bees were. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, just I wonder to, if you collect. I just to like, make you mad. If you collected that honey from Notre oh, Dame, oh, that's, that's a good. That's a. I'll oh, rub that on honey things. Yeah, Fire yeah. honey. Yeah. Right. Oh, the old people buy that. Oh, you got cancer? I got fucking Notre Dame uh, fire honey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rub this on your tits. It'll solve <laughs> everything. Yeah. I just, uh, I think uh, it'll be fine, right? And also, does the the you know the country own that facility, or does the Catholic Paris Church? Paris does. Own it? Like, I don't know. Catholic? That's what uh, oh. Juan said, and I trust him. All right. So yeah, because everybody's like, "Oh, let the Catholic Church pay for it," but I was like, "I don't think the Catholic Church owns." Yeah, Juan says that. the Catholic Church does not own the cathedral. It belongs to Paris itself, which is why the Vatican isn't pitching in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney right. pitched in five million dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Vatican shouldn't yeah. they th- just for publicity? They don't give a fuck because they don't make money off of it. <laughs> well, like Paris I mean, does. Yeah, still, that it, it represents uh, your religion. Like, shouldn't just for PR? Like, mm-hmm. shouldn't the Vatican PR person should be fired no. for sure? Like, I, I, hey, I'm, we sh- everybody's throwing in hundreds of millions. Let's put in five. Just so we can say we did something. <laughs> yeah. Like something, right? You know? They got a billion. They don't need any more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're done. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, residents, this is a little off topic. Residents of a Mississippi neighborhood are trying to get to the bottom of an unusual mystery. Someone has been leaving mashed potatoes in various locations. <laughs> what? <laughs> mashed potato <laughs> bandit? Yeah. <laughs> Neighbors in the Bellhaven area of Jackson said they're finding plates of mashed potatoes in locations, including mm. porches, mailboxes, and and on top of vehicles. They're looking for a red-faced <laughs> lunch lady. <laughs> so resident Remember George- the scoop? They put the scoop yeah. of the taters uh, in there with yeah. the ice cream scoop? Yeah, yeah. And they were so... Like they were both wet and dry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And then they, uh, they. I don't even. They were instant. Obviously, they yeah. were instant it's mashed like potatoes. But I fucking loved them. They were pretty good. They uh, were so good. I guess it's the. <laughs> it makes the most sense using the ice cream scoop, but it's still off putting. I, yeah. I don't want to see my mashed potatoes perfect smooth ball. <laughs> like, yeah. It's weird. But it also makes me just as mad when I use a spoon at like Thanksgiving and they won't come off. No, yeah, and you yeah, do yeah, that yeah. move where you're like banging it. You yeah, know, yeah, you're, you're like, whipping to, it yeah. out. Yeah. And I don't like that. Don't <laughs> whip it out. I do not <laughs> whip <laughs> it out. I mean, you're whipping <laughs> there. Pull your cock out. The fuck's going? Oh, they want you to scoop, Tom. Yeah. yeah. So resident Jordan. Do the Lewis. scoop with your cock come out. On. <laughs> whip it out and scoop. So resident. Resident, resident, That's Jordan, the show name. resident Jordan Lewis said, we decorate road signs, we put Christmas trees in our potholes, so it's not surprising at all. That's why I love this neighborhood. 
So residents said they've yet right. to undercover. This is there was a quote from somebody who lived in. The well, neighborhood. they shouldn't be leaving food. That's bad for like rodents and stuff. Right? He said they, they've yet to uncover the motive of the pranksters, but uh, the police have not got involved because it's just been a harmless prank. The how? But does what this kind of taters are they, They're instant, right? I don't, they just they're not mashed like potatoes. actual mashed potatoes with butter and cream and. You know, I bet this this started similar to my brother in law. Remember the old PP condom uh, oh, vandals, yes, the PP condom vandals. Yes. Like it starts by actual like some uh, you know usually it's kids. I busted. You ever heard the story? No. Like my brother in law, like he was standing in his backyard one time, like barbecuing at night, and uh, and then all of a sudden, like he was like, "What the fuck?" Like and then. A condom filled with pee pee bounced <laughs> next to him like someone threw it over his yeah. uh, over his house and into his backyard. <laughs> That's hilarious! And then it landed. And uh, so wait, did it break? It didn't break. It so bounced. He, so then yeah. he had to break it to know that there was pee in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, he, he drank it. You could cut it. All right, yeah, that's pee. He did that move that nineteen uh, nineties uh, detectives do in yeah. movies Get where your you pinky. you uh, stab the cocaine back and you put it in your gum. Yeah. Like, oh, that's you rub it. You, it's, <laughs> it's always your pinky, and then you yeah, 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 yeah. And then you look at the camera and you're like. That's good shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bolivian uh, gold. Yeah. Um, so uh, then, I I wish that hold on. I wish the detective goes in on the gums and he goes turns to the camera and goes, wah Bolivian gold. You motherfucker. <laughs> Tom Bad. Special needs to do <laughs> What do you got there, Tom? I think we got a m- 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 murder. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I watched that show. I would too. So after the first PB condom, I like, will get to the b- 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 <laughs> bottom of this. And, I, and <laughs> I think it was some teens in his neighborhood, and then they left like a four loco on his front door or some shit. Right, were yeah. they just messing yeah. with him? And That's a gift. PB you leave a four loco on my doorstep, I'm like, yes. So what happened is like he he called the cops, right? And what did he say? And he's like, someone threw a PB condom, and like, and they're like, oh, okay. So <laughs> he, he knows some detectives and stuff down in Miami, and he t- told them about it, and that was his worst mistake because then then the detective. And his friends started throwing pee pee condoms, <laughs> fucking with them because it just had like one kid did it, he like started it, spiraling. Out and of and then he was like, he was up like he, he, every weekend there was pee pee condoms everywhere. And then he was like, what the fuck? And he's like running out on his boxers, like cars were driving away. But it was like the detective laughing with his buddies. Yeah, it's an inside and, job at that point. And then he, like it went on for months and months. So it's like the copycat mashed potatoes. Like yeah. one plate of mashed potatoes was left. Then people start like, oh, yeah. look, who left this? Then People start fucking with everybody, like doing it, yeah. copying. But them. mashed potatoes take some work. You got to prepare yeah, mashed potatoes. Not an instant. You just add water. You like, still got to go do something. Well, it's boiling like water. You egg. dump them in there. You fluff them a little bit with a fork, and away you go. And then you put them on people's porches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would like that. Would be I wouldn't like that if somebody did that to me. Really? No, not the mashed potato thing. Well, it's just a plate It'd of mashed potatoes. It'd be weird, but no. like, I would pick fine. it up. Just I don't like it. Put it in the garbage <laughs> and go home. I wouldn't even tell anybody. <laughs> like, the I raccoons would get it before you. You're right. Like my old. House, remember when somebody? It was when you would uh, you would always go and have Shorty and Trey come in from the Okoe Fire Department. Ah, oh, yeah. And you know, f- fire departments, I guess, are very, uh, you know, they're they're competitive. Ah. Oh. And remember, somebody put like a uh, firefighter T-shirt like on my front door, and then put like a little note and was like, "Fuck Okoe Fire Department. Oh my god, we're the best." You oh, know, and yeah. I'm like, I mm. don't care. You, you know, guys like, are to all, me, uh, you know, helping people. There should be a competition. Yeah, it was a fucking was charity a joking, thing. Yeah, yeah, but I just thought it was weird. You know, like that kind of stuff does creep me out a little bit. Mm. I don't like it. Um, next door. All right. <laughs> so, wow. do you guys remember when I told you about the guy who was going to only drink beer for forty days for Lent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. You remember that? Is he dead? So Lent's over, or Lent's close to being over, and uh, he lost forty pounds. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So Dell Hall of Ohio, he made headlines earlier this year. Daryl right? Hall. No, Dell Hall. Oh. He made headlines this year when he said he was just going to drink beer for 40 days. And now that the 40 days are over, uh, he, he lost 40 pounds. He said he drank two to five beers a day. The idea of and that was it. Like losing that, exactly 40 with 40 days is kind of interesting, isn't and it? And he not? didn't eat. like that, that was his calorie intake. Yeah. I, I mean, you would lose weight, especially at two to five beers. That's not very much. No. You know? like, no. I mean, at the very most, it's like 200 calories a beer. 
Yeah, so a thousand calories, yeah. right? It depends. Uh, if you get some craft beers, they're up there. I remember uh, thinking I was cheating the system. Well, with the you Waldos got on those Waldos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're back, by the way. Uh, I believe they're back. Yeah, so yeah. he's going to start eating real food again, uh, slowly, broth, vegetables, then meat. But he's, he's easing himself. Do you easing? have to do that? That's what he said. He said so you if you only to. drank beer for 40 days and then like that night you go to, like let's say, Mellow Mushroom. No, oh, and diary. get yourself oh. a mighty meaty. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's bad. It's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. But like, like eventually, I mean, cause see, I don't think diarrhea yeah. is bad. No, I prefer it over yeah. <laughs> the hard stools. I do hard too. stools are the worst. Yeah, they are the worst. You See, know, people the, should complain like it was too hard. And yeah, tore my butt. Yeah, well, the ones that come out like Death Valley that have the crinkle cracks in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. are bad. It hurts. Yeah. yeah, they do hurt. <laughs> yeah, uh, and sometimes they come out and you, you're like, I don't know how that fit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, you look at them and they're wide. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I don't like those. <laughs> and I, the worst ones that I've been having lately. I've been trying to stay more hydrated. I'm eating really clean. That's why I'm losing weight. I've lost like 16 pounds now. When when you shit, the worst ones are the one where you're like, oh, I got shit so bad. Shit. And you're like, oh, and it's like, oh my and it God. rockets into the toilet, but it's only the size of like a nickel. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn, that was a lot of work for that. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> the, the guys all that you guys know, you're my friends. These motherfuckers. They're animals. They walk in on me in the bathroom. <laughs> no <problem. laughs> all three of them? Yep, there's all three of them. <laughs> oh at the same time. That's, uh, a, that's a crime, I think. <laughs> Next door? Yes, please. All right, so this happened earlier this week, but I, I, I thought we might want to talk about it. An armed 18-year-old girl infatuated with the Columbine School yeah. Massacre was found dead after fear, she was seeking to replicate the shooting twenty years or uh, twenty years on. Did you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I uh, before she was dead, I like the story that I heard is like they put all the Colorado schools on lockdown. Yes. Yeah. Denver been, area, just I think just around Denver. Denver yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she bought a uh, a plane ticket well, from Miami Dade. Shotgun. Yep. Um, basically, where I grew up. Eighteen years old. Yeah. And then and then flew to Denver. Then when she got off the plane, she purchased. Here's what's, what's bought a it, shotgun. Yeah, bought a shotgun. Here's how did they know that uh, she bought a shotgun? They run your uh, license and shit when you buy a gun. I think right? it's I a three-day hold, or is that just Florida? I think with a shotgun, mm. you don't have to. Because oh, okay. she was, so was going to go hunting. Yeah, you she could said. buy a shotgun at Walmart. I mean, That's true. Yeah. 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 That's why I like Walmart. I think, <laughs> I think it was the Miami police um, informed the Denver authorities or whatever local town and I think they started tracking her from the time that she left the airport. I'm assuming they pulled Uber records or whatever, and she went directly to uh, purchase the gun, a pump handle shotgun. So I think they kind of were tracking her after that point. Gotcha. I, I want to say- That's Chris Fisher, by the way. I think her parents- It's <laughs> a ghost. Uh, thank think, you so much. I think people who That's knew That's our correspondent her. from Denver, Chris <laughs> Fisher. Thanks for checking in, Chris. I think people that knew her had sort of alerted authorities, saying, like, she's been sort of uh, talking about this, and, and they kept an eye on her. Well, this is, this is good for a couple reasons. One, um, well, not the death. Obviously, it's a tragedy. She died from a mean. self-inflicted gunshot wound. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, if you're a crazy threat to society uh, and you kill yourself, I'm about even with that. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm like, uh, you know, it's not. And I, I get it. I, I, I just, feel, I always but, feel bad when it's somebody's. But oh, like yeah, kid, yeah. And she's I feel bad for their parents and, and stuff. she had mental problems and she Let's blew. Say, I'm glad she killed away. herself before she Agreed. killed anybody. I agree. And I, I wish more people would do that, but uh, that's a better trade. I'm with you 100. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, although but it it's is still a tragedy. Mental yeah, illness uh, is, uh, you know, it's, it's 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 sad that she couldn't get help be, uh, because maybe with the with help this never would have happened. Right. But um, a couple good things about this is the fact that we, as a collective society, were able to catch this and then be on an alert you know which I th- shows I was you that people by that th- yeah people are are more aware of things like oh this person's crazy i don't know how it came to be that even they warned authorities or what like she making threats or whatever on facebook but i think people are a lot more vigilant and, and like you see some crazy threat like i know if if i saw a, a crazy threat on facebook like i report you ever reported anything no, no i have yeah, yeah, like a van. I was when I was uh, when I was working um, downtown Deland. There was like it was when it was around the time of, you know, like nine eleven and stuff like that. And there was a, a white van that had been parked in front of like the courthouse there for an extended period of time. Mm-hmm. I just always thought it was weird, so I called it in. Mm-hmm. 
That's yeah, just you the, see uh, something, you say something. Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, I uh, except I run from thugs in an alley <laughs> with a two by four. I run I f- the can't fuck. say shit. You know yeah. what? I, I feel bad for white vans and the people that manufacture white vans them. Matter. Yeah. White vans have got a bad rap, and uh, <laughs> throughout all time, like you, uh, you see a white van, and it's well, why do they always have to have black black limo tinted windows? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, and why do they have to have nefarious. nothing on the side? Yeah, yeah. Like. Uh, I feel bad for the people driving white vans. They're honest, uh, just regular people. But uh, just because you're driving the white van, Dan will call the cops on you. <laughs> and I will I'll think, get you good. Yeah, I will think you were up to something uh, no good. Yeah, because uh, white vans have been used uh, for uh, horrible crimes. Well, it's just because <laughs> most <laughs> rental vehicles are like that, right? Yeah, Maybe yeah, we yeah. should start making more rental vehicles like look goofy. <laughs> or something, you know, make them like those VW bugs that have the eyelashes on the light. <laughs> you know, on the on the. Uh, you ever seen those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do people do that? Well, every time I see them in a parking lot, I just want to rip the eyelashes <laughs> off. Oh, I wouldn't. It's not my property, but I'm just saying I want to. Let me ask you guys this, I don't or at least to, cut them down with some scissors. I don't want to get too serious, but um, she doesn't like this per- particular You're person. About Sam? Oh. Like they then <laughs> then they someone reported she was running naked in the woods. Yeah. And then she shot herself. That right? wasn't in this story, but I heard that as well. Yeah, yeah. So I saw multiple sources say that. Yeah, there was a report that she was running naked in the woods, she fit the description, then the cops went to go look so for her. So make me they a bad person that the first thought was do they have pictures? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, the know, first thought for me is like anybody nude, I go, I wanna see. <laughs> like anything. <laughs> Yeah, 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 could be anything. It could be like uh, yeah. autopsy photo, Ralphie May nude. I'd be like, I want to see. But it, it's <laughs> like in the bathroom. I want to see. <laughs> right? I draw the line uh, with that. Oh, that's she, where you draw the you line. You work mm-hmm. here. It seems like she was too crazy. She doesn't fit the stereotype of all these other shooters and the fact that she was like too crazy. And it seems like all these other mass shooters like have it. Uh, they they're crazy too, but uh, they don't you know end up doing so. I, I I'm not sure what the difference is. Like maybe this person was never gonna shoot up a, a school or whatever. Maybe she was, and maybe when they they when she found out people she were looking for been, her, she went. And I know this is unlikely, and I know a lot of people disagree with me. It could have been as simple as she was infatuated with that case, but never intended to harm anybody. Wanted to fly there to see it and get the gun to kill herself. Could have been as simple as that. And, Could have uh, been. It's, and it's weird. But, and we'll never in, know. In this story, too, what was weird about it is that I heard uh, they were talking about, like, she hadn't committed a crime yet. And so then, like, the police were looking for her to question her, detain her. But uh, as far as crime being committed, she hadn't. Yeah. So it was like, what do you do at that point? Like, I guess you start, you Baker Act them, you get them in a mental institution yeah. or something like that. Um, you know, just get them off the street. But uh, it is weird. Like, like, oh, this person's maybe a little nuts. She bought a gun. Uh, and we're, as a society, we shut down a bunch of schools and stuff. Like, yeah. it did affect, like, think about how many lives it affected. Uh, I just you feel, know, I like feel bad Five schools shut down. Yeah, and those kids, they have to relive that. Right. You know, I mean, that's, it's. Yeah, st- it's still pretty. I it's mean, twenty I, years ago tomorrow. I know, and and even with twenty years ago tomorrow, it's still. I feel like it's still fresh. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least it is to me. I remember watching. I was yeah. in biology class. That's so. Yeah, I was just, in high school too. Yeah, it's so fucked up. And then man. and then you hear like you're like oh I remember Colorblind like how hard and then it's like the thirteen people killed and for whatever reason I was like. Ah, I thought it was more because now we all these mass shootings are like, you know, 30, 50, 80, like just getting more and more. It's crazy. You know, like, uh, God damn. Well, uh, like, you know, we have good friends that have older kids and they always talk about like, uh, you know, I don't want to say who, who I'm referencing, but they were talking about uh, talking to their daughter when she came home from school. Like, hey, how was your day? She was like, yeah, we had an active uh, shooter drill today. Uh, I This time I got to hide in the closet. I have to go out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, that's where we are. Dude, in elementary school, I went and talked to, uh, like, you know, because Tommy's going to kindergarten next year, and they do active shooter drills all the yeah. time, and they have to, and then they, you know, they, they learn how to shut the school down, and it's like a, you know, standard practice I nowadays. looked at the bulletproof like, backpack for me. You know, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, those bulletproof backpacks. They're they're back ordered now. That's how popular they are. Yeah, yeah. It's a pink backpack. It's got unicorns all over it, but it's made of Kevlar. And yeah. if uh, active shooter, she can get inside of it or put it in front of her or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'd be lying if I told you I, that's not a true story. I've actually yeah. looked at those and they're out of stock right now. And I will buy one. It, it, how much yeah. are they? Um, not that much more than a like about one hundred and ten dollars. Really? You know, and it's like one of those things where kind it's, of a small price yeah. to pay. I think. I mean. 
it's probably meaningless. Is she going to act actively think to grab that, or you know, it, yeah. will it even be near? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you as a new dad, you you try to do anything you can. Yeah, yeah. You know and then it mean? depends on like the gun, and like you were you were even talking about that. I was like, oh well, if it's a if it's a rifle round, uh, that Kevlar won't stop it. You're like, what the yeah. fuck are we talking about here? Yeah, like why are we saying this? It's, I didn't. Like, sign, your fucking daughter's I backpack. I didn't sign up for that. No, you yeah, know what I, I mean. Like I signed up for the the joy and the and the the trouble part. I understand all of that, but the Active shooter part is not something that I would have ever thought would be on the radar. I did. But did you ever have anything <laughs> growing up at school that we had re- bomb threats remotely? Re- I never had one. Yeah, we had not a few. one. Yeah, th- we we had like your race riots and things like that. <laughs> Those are fun though. Those are. I <laughs> yeah, it was more like uh, you go to school, school in a prison. <laughs> no, it was uh, <laughs> Miami. He went, <laughs> went to Oz High. <laughs> it was with the Spanish and black people. Uh, yeah, West there's, there's less whites. Uh, the whites just yeah. uh, me and a couple other uh, <laughs> yeah. me and Zach and Jeff. Yeah. We we're looking out. We're like, ah, oh, don't get involved. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Aryan the Brotherhood are just peeking <laughs> over the uh, <laughs> the picnic <laughs> tables <laughs> with your M M&M and M hair. He got real slim. I didn't even. There wasn't. <laughs> He's got the. He got the real slim shady haircut. I was. I didn't grow up with uh, familiar with racism. Uh, or like I knew. You racism. just said race riots were happening. What are you talking? No, about? No, but he said it was the black people. It in the was brown. like that's white. Still, that's <laughs> still <laughs> racism. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it, it was racial motivated fights. Um, right. Yeah, but uh, like that's it, what it, racism do is. Prison. You think it just involves white people? No, I know, I oh, know. Okay. But the uh, the stereotypical no, white. You're, you're you've never been Nazis at all. things like that. Like I never saw that in. And no, Miami. I'm just kidding. We have a caller online too that uh, he has a situation where he called something in once. Who's this? Camello. Camello, what's going on, man? Hello. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Good. Did I get your name right? Is it Camello? Yeah, you got it right. Okay, great. Yeah, what's uh, what's your story, man? So uh, this happened about a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks back, and I was going to call you guys in and. Uh, I was tuning in today, and I, I thought it was appropriate being that you guys are talking about crazy people. Um, so this is totally going to sound fake, and this is why uh, it was hard to call the police. I have never called the police, so I didn't even know what number to call 911 or the non-emergency number. Uh, I moved recently up to PA, uh, and a little bit of background, I don't have any uh, criminal records or uh, I don't have any debts, and I don't have anything going on uh, okay, illegally. So no criminal records and no debts. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm also part of the dead dad club. So. Oh, I'm oh, so man. sorry. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> too many details. So, <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody knocks on my door, and I just go downstairs and open the door, and I see this... Uh, middle age, well, old age man, about 55, and he's wearing, this is a rainy day, by the way, and he's wearing a dark trench coat and a fedora, glasses, <laughs> and he has a briefcase, and he proceeds to flash a badge and say a bunch of gibberish and say that he was looking for my name and something federal investigation. So I started to freak out, and I asked for the whole thing again, and he refers to my name as a female, and that's where I started to, like, panic, and then I go, okay, and then I just slowly close the door on him and ran upstairs and called the police. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to backtrack. I'm going to clarify. Old man in a black trench coat and a yeah. fedora and a briefcase with sunglasses yeah. rings the doorbell. Do you have a cartoon rabbit with him? <laughs> <laughs> he, and then he and he says like he's looking for your name, but he refers to you as like a female, and then and says that he's doing a federal investigation. Yeah. That, that I'm being looked. That, that's after. the beginning of an X Files episode. <laughs> okay. And then when yeah, you the slowly, cl- man. <laughs> when you slowly close the door, did he say anything like, "Oh, ah, ah, you, know, yeah, like, yeah. you, you know, can't get away this easy"? You know that <laughs> move where <laughs> the person <laughs> tries to talk up until the door closes uh, through the crack? And I do that to my wife all the time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Is he bad? <laughs> no, I, I, I thought that he was gonna freak out on me and like try to push the door open. And in my head, for some reason, it made sense that if I slowly closed the door, he was not going to freak out and pull a gun on me or anything. Yeah, you were staying calm. And That's smart. 
Yeah, um, sure. And then I just went upstairs and called the police, and I had to tell this whole story to the police. And obviously, they were looking at me like, you're insane. And they have not found the guy. So every day, I have to walk outside and look after myself. It was probably just a door-to-door scammer. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like, oh, you know, I, uh, that happens a lot. They, he was probably trying to get uh, yeah. you to donate to uh, his trip to Pierre. Why would you dress like it's 1930, though? Yeah, I mean, you're a crazy <laughs> person. Uh, I mean, okay, let me ask you a question. Was the fedora a nice fedora? <laughs> or was it like one of those fedoras you get at Party City? <laughs> no, he looked like... He looked like a 1950s spy, and he was very well dressed. Okay, it was but a pink panther. Like, yeah, but like Man bums. Black. Okay, hold on a second. Tom's always had this this kind of this theory. Bums dress very nice, yeah, yeah. but all their clothing is tattered and kind of got <laughs> shit all over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like was he? Bums was would be wearing like a yeah. dinner jacket. Yeah, yeah like, like, a, you'll, like you'll see a bum it. pushing a shopping cart. His dog <laughs> has got goggles on, and he's got a literally a, a like a red velvet dinner jacket on. Uh, but on the back of it, there's some turds. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like was this guy? Clean Clean? Yeah, no, he was very tidy. He was no. I I also describe it to my girlfriend as uh, he looked like he had gone to the Target section for a 1950s pie and he had bought all his. Equipment. So a lot of Mazamo. <laughs> yeah, he, he he was just trying to scam. Yeah, yeah. he had a lot yeah. of uh, Cherokee brand. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's probably gonna murder you. So <laughs> well, no, no, why would he murder yeah. you? Like, That's what I think too. That's a, like uh, yeah, you're you'll. This will be the last time we're talking to you. <laughs> I feel pretty confident. Did the well, co- did the cops come? What? Sir, does it get- oh, I was going to say, if you don't see my $295 uh, next month, then you know. No. Uh, <laughs> no. That'll keep well, you're not going to be able to cancel it. It'll take a while, <laughs> yeah, 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 take yeah, a while for yeah. your family to uh, open your estate and close all your credit yeah. cards. We'll get it for like three more yeah. months. Three <laughs> or four more months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this charge for Black Fedora? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you up it to nine ninety five right yeah. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, please. Just help us out. Yeah, help all us right, out sir. and up it until the Fedora man gets you. Hey, right. Good luck with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I was hoping, like, have you ever called the cops? I called the cops That's one crazy. time when uh, in my heroin alley house when uh, some kids, we assumed it was kids because they stole, like, PlayStation uh, video games and my wife's jewelry. That's when she got uh, that heirloom ring yeah. stolen. Could be a crackhead. Um, could that be a sucks. crackhead, yeah. Um, but she... They got uh, your Tony Hawk pro skater. They got <laughs> what yeah. meant the most to you and what meant the <laughs> most to her. Got Tony me. Hawk pro skater and an heirloom ring. And they got a they got our video camera with the only footage of me doing a backflip. Oh, on I thought the, you were uh, going to say uh, a sex tape. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that's stolen too, right? Yeah, yeah that it was. Uh, oh. But uh, There is a sex tape out there. Oh, man. <laughs> so wait, you did a backflip and you had it on one tape. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly. It was, it was on the same tape as the porno. Well, oh, really? I mean, thousands of people saw it. It was at the Do Action Sports yeah. Store. Uh, watch uh, the backflip, but stay for the porno. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, anyway. Fast forward. What are you more uh, impressed with? <laughs> what, oh, oh, the backflip. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. Have bad. you always it's been? It's a silent film. The other yeah. one. Have you always been silent during sex? Or in your younger years, did you give it a woohoo? Or a yo? Always did you silent. give a thumbs up to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. gave a thumbs up, but not to the camera. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? He immediately is blushing. Yeah. Now. He, you he even went too it. far for yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Is that a thing? I cannot say it. Oh, I gave it a thumbs up, all right. You're like, oh, look how red he is. I, uh, That's kind of cute. But the cops, I called the cops after we found out uh, we've been uh, burglarized, and then the cop, two cops show up, and they're monster fans. <laughs> and yeah, they immediately help. started criticizing <laughs> the, 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 the general, like, uh, <laughs> This uh, place is a real dump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, like that one client that pulled out of to my old house. He's like, oh, wh- I was getting a new roof. He's like, who died in this coffin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That fat motherfucker. Yeah, he's they, dead now. He started criticizing <laughs> the, the, the one, shit. The, uh, <laughs> the inside of my house. And I'm like, I'm moving. And they're like, oh, yeah, you are drunk. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, You're moving now. Then they like, they, I, it was like, they, they weren't even writing. They were fake writing on a <laughs> yeah. pad. Like, I, he's like doodling I tell, your wife's tits. You you can know, tell. Like drawing them on a pad. You can tell because as I'm talking yeah. to them, they're like, you, it would take longer to write what I'm yeah. saying. Like they're just moving the pen. Yeah, it's like when I talk on the phone to some people, and you're telling them all these things, and they're like, 
Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not listening right. to you. Yeah, so he's fake writing, and then I'm like, and then I start explaining. We had those, uh, this is super classic, by the way. When you have, uh, <laughs> you, when your closets are full-length glass and they're sliders. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know you're really <laughs> the mirrors. rich. They're I used mirrors, to like yeah. to look they're at myself not, with a mirror while I'm uh, yeah. pumping. Full-length mirror sliders. Um, yeah. And, uh, gold. Yeah, yeah, gold trim. Yeah, gold trim. <laughs> That's how you know. And I'm telling him, like, this is all, like, because all... All, they took all the actual the discs and not the uh, the the boxes of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. opened them and took the CDs, sure, or the whatever you call the video games. And yeah, uh, that's right. So, so then the guy, the cops are like, "Oh, maybe they left some fingerprints on the uh, mirror here." <laughs> and the guy started like, "He's dusting or whatever." <laughs> and then the other, his buddy, pretended like he got a call, and I know he didn't because I didn't hear anything. He's like, "What is that? Oh, oh, we gotta go, Frank. We gotta go. We gotta go." And I'm like, "You didn't get a call." I'm like, I would have heard. Yeah. You know, I'm standing right next to you. Like, what? If, if you don't have an earpiece in. It would come loud through your fucking, uh, you know. Um, oh God, we need an Arby's Big Montana. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they're like, oh, we'll get back to you. And then I'm like, well, don't you want to uh, use the tape on the fingerprints? Like, ah, oh, we got what we need. They fucking. I left. think we're done here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course they are, because what they knew it was some teens uh, in yeah. a bad neighborhood that just stole my shit. And of course they, it's gone and yeah, never they probably get it back. forgot about it. Left it in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's probably yeah. never made it to the pawn shop. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, so this um, tape has. These two scenes on it? No, 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 no. <laughs> the other one was taken in a different scenario. I don't want to talk about. Uh, it. Do you do a uh, role playing well, scenario? Well, it was traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> it was back. Uh, remember when black and white came out on uh, handheld uh, video cameras? Like that when the first technology. So you're trying to make an art film? <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm not black and white. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, like, I did not like uh, night vision. No, oh, 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 it was night Ew, vision. You had a night vision like Harrison. <laughs> 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 I love that. I, I, got, I still it was got on the same time. I still got the, or, yeah, I still yeah. have the original. I still got. I was yeah, like, yeah. I still got it. You see the shame in my wife's yeah. green oh, eyes. Oh, and they're <laughs> bright. <laughs> they're bright. <laughs> bright green. You're like, holy shit! That <laughs> raccoon is eating that worm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Don't ever talk about it. Boy, okay. All right, move That's on. Really, I'm gonna bring it up when I'm on two wife yeah. That's a really <laughs> quiet worm. She's, my wife is traumatized by it. <laughs> traumatized. Why do you use? Night she's, she's in fear every day that it's going to come out. Um, yeah. I said, oh, it's gone. <laughs> I don't even think people would know. Like, you wouldn't even. I mean, you guys, as much as you look alike, I if did we a, saw like, it, I, did I don't a, think we'd be like, oh, that's them. I did a real world intro of work. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're like, like true story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I showed this my is the story. <laughs> Well, my man and Silent, <laughs> and she having sex. She did it with my wife. <laughs> she did a confession afterwards. <laughs> it's the real world, heroin alley. <laughs> Jerry Star. All right, let's what take a break. What if you bought that? Though? What if you bought that uh, video recorder, or that camera, and that was there? Like, if you just mm. bought it at a pawn shop, that like, was what that, would you do? The uh, well, oh, the, I jack off. <laughs> <laughs> that, what that, would you do? That I, I'm just wondering, like, if, if you found, if you bought something, like. Sh- Somebody's two strange people were on there. Uh, you put uploaded to the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah to X videos. Yeah. Uh, and then put like Tom Man yeah, yeah, on video yeah, time. Uh, uh, then I'm trying to blippy style get it erased, <laughs> yeah. but it'll come out. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw by the way the BBM oh, it's poster. Good, right? Yeah, yeah. It's more extreme than yeah, I thought. It is. Yeah. I told you. It was, but it's way not brighter. Poop. It's not poop. It's pudding. You can yeah. tell. He just enemaed himself. Yeah, with pudding. Yeah, he himself with pudding, and then he farted it out. That's like two girls, one cup. Everybody does. It's not poo poo. It's uh, although. It's got some boo boo on it. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's something. You know, there. I mean, it's not the cleanest pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. All right. Thank you, Blippi. Let's take a break. Oh, is it break time? Mm hmm. We'll come back. We'll do some news. I already did the news. I'm sorry. I'm mail on mail. Uh, let's do some punk rock. You know, we did like weird cover song. Then we did local hip hop. Let's do some punk music from Clowns. The name of the song is Prick. You will like this. Good album, too. We'll be right back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan, 1844 T O M N D A N. When you were walking down the street, you saw some gotcha 55. You're not right. <laughs> and then, uh, then I was telling the guy last night, I was like, Drew Garoppolo's still on the radio in Tampa. You could listen to him anytime you want. Like, uh, just because you're not in Tampa, like, that is gone now. Like, we have the internet. Uh, you can listen to any show you want at any time, uh, you know, wherever there are live, as long as they, whatever the, you know, same time. 
And the guy's like, ah, oh, no, nah, I don't listen. <laughs> you, know, like, <laughs> you like it that much and that you call in Daniel to call in the show? And uh, th- hey, that man. blows my mind. Or this like, one. I like this one. Hey, man, been a fan for years. Just absolutely love you. Listen all the time. What are you doing now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or, or, all right. Or people like send us emails sometimes saying they're like moving out of town. Uh, this happened more in the past, but they're like, I'm moving out of town. I uh, just want to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for uh, all your years, uh, you know, for, of entertaining me or whatever. Like, like, nothing will change. Yeah, yeah, like you could still listen anywhere you want As at all times. In like, fact, you could listen more. <laughs> it, it does not matter where you are nowadays. Like, I, it's so bizarre that. Uh, that's still maybe I people, guess people just were started, stuck in their ways. Also, we're I'm stuck in my ways, well, but still. Uh, also, we're really close to it. You're right. You know, like we know how easy it is to get podcasts and and listen to all of them because we're in the business. You know, a lot of times people it might just be as easy as just slipping their mind. You know, I mean, yeah. that's another thing too. It's like uh, although the iHeartMedia app, I got to tell you. That is a hunk of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I tried yeah. to use it today to listen to something. There was a show uh, in another city that I wanted to try and check out because they had uh, a guest on. They had Kevin Hart on that I wanted to listen to. Couldn't he? I just press play. I am keep pressing play. Nothing's happening. It's like buffering, buffering, <laughs> buffering. I'm like, fuck it. I'm not even going to listen to it. Mm, yeah. Hunk of shit. <laughs> and, and I never, like, the people that uh, don't listen to podcasts or something, like, it's too complicated or whatever. Like, I understand, like, uh, you know. Y- There's a learning curve in the beginning, but once you... Do it like yeah. it's pretty damn easy. Yeah, there is a learning curve, and and I'm the he, I know I'm sound like a hypocrite because I couldn't. Uh, it, it it pained me to learn how to use uh, Google Calendar, yeah. and like I couldn't. But, <laughs> but I but learned. You did it. Uh, yeah, although you did. I will say Google it did Calendar take him a year. It's more complicated than listening to a podcast. Yeah. Like and he still calls it the Google Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Google Calendar. I mean, you you just whatever phone you have, you go to your like a uh, podcast player, whether it's a. Uh, Google Podcast or Apple Podcast, and then you pick the show, and then just that's the big what you play need button. to say during sex when you come. You're like Google Calendar, <laughs> <laughs> <But> it's, <laughs> Google. It's like you click on the button of the show you want, and then there's the play button that we're all familiar with. Our website, we purposely made a big. Yeah. You can even do that. You can go through your web browser and just hit play, and then you just click the play button. It's yeah. like well, how hard is that? Yeah. Not, not everybody knows how to do the Bluetooth though. Well, you've got the, yeah, but, you know, I do. I'm not saying I, but yeah. like you, your new truck has the Android Auto or and the um, Apple CarPlay app right in the the touch screen. Or is mine fancy? I don't know how to use it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've been, I've been got, I'm him. sorry. You got a 2018. And I right? accidentally mm-hmm. disconnected my phone from my truck, and I've been driving around for the go- yeah. three weeks. Too listening. lazy to reconnect it. Listen. Just. Oh no, I try, and then I can't figure no. it out, and then I just listen to my oh, phone my. into my ear. Oh, he puts his phone in a coffee mug and <laughs> yeah. lets it reverberate. Still, this, though, I yeah. don't stop me. Yeah, each of those have like six different podcasts, different apps that you can listen to through your car: Spotify, yeah, and yeah. Stitcher, yeah, and Podcast Stitcher's Addict. On there. All those are. And, on everything. There. and let me ask you this too. And then a lot of people, and a lot of people like last night. And I'm, you know, I'm just shitting on it for fun. But uh, they, uh, people are like, oh, I like the live aspect. And I'm like, well, why? <laughs> like, my first I, email is about last night. Okay, let's talk about it. Oh. Who's oh. the emails brought to you by? Oh, here, Ew. email. Yeah. Here's the intro. Okay, now we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> email brought to you by my Kramer Law Firm, onefirmforlife.com. For any legal problem, Kramer and his team can help you out. Absolutely, onefirmforlife.com. Okay, so it says, oh my God, they're live. You guys are live. I didn't know how to listen to the live ACT other than going outside and sitting in my truck or putting batteries in the hurricane radio. Um, yeah, why a lot even, of people said that to me. <laughs> why even bother doing this in the first place? No disrespect, but was this a newer contractual requirement? Did you guys get paid more to go in to do a live in- show in studio? Also, a chunk of calls that were non-friends of the show were from an older demographic. What does that tell you? You don't have to read, but these are my thoughts. Radio is dying, but not dead. Older people are less likely to embrace technology. When ACT replays on the radio, will these same people not listen because they wouldn't be able to engage live? Are they actual Tom and Dan listeners or 104.1 listeners who left their radio on? Do you bring up a bunch of valid points and a bunch of points that I can't answer because yeah, don't I know. don't know. But we yeah, don't know why everyone was so shocked. You're, you're yeah, you're on the you know the same line. You know, you're you're using reasoning. And we didn't have to go in. There was no money involved. It was just no, you guys no. wanted to do something different for Tom we, and we, we actually had to ask Jack because KC had to come in and run the board, and I think they had to, he had to be on the clock because he's an employee there. Casey 
is uh, he's a super nice guy. He's been helping us out for years. He, he's the one that edits a corporate time and loads it in. He's an employee of iHeart. And uh, he came in and ran the board last minute because we came up with this idea on Monday. Like, uh, and then <laughs> we had Jack. And uh, I didn't know if they were even going to let us do it, uh, but uh, Jack's cool. And, like, that's the thing. Like, uh, he's the nicest guy in the world. And the only reason we're still on the station is because of Jack. But uh, he, we, uh, we did it. it. It was a bizarre thing because I don't know. Like, our style of show and most styles of talk show or whatever, radio, talk, talk radio, for years it's been the same thing. I mean, it started with Howard Stern, like, when the traditional shock jock, where, where talk radio used to be before is, like, love, like, maybe love calls or, like, a doctor or political or whatever. And then Howard Stern is like, hey, we're just going to make jokes and make people laugh and, like, fuck around. Yeah. And then that style kind of turned into what we call 90s radio. A bunch of other uh, people did the same thing. Uh, you know, it was Howard Stern and like, sure. and, uh, and then that's kind of, uh, you know, gone from nineties till around now where it's slowly dying out or turning into podcasts or whatever. And, uh, but that style where you just take calls and we were always told, I mean, Daniel, especially because he was in radio way longer. It's like, Oh, it's all about that live engagement. Well, and the, the more caller, calls you and, take, the more calls you get. And then, and the yeah. caller, uh, uh, you know, interaction and stuff. And Evergreen I, topic reset, give the number. And I've always, and I understand there's there is something to be said now i don't know which came for is it, is it the, a chicken or egg scenario and the, this fact it's like okay you got to fill five hours you know or four hours it's usually a big Typically block three to four and their whole business model was okay do a big block of of uh radio and try to catch people driving on 15 minute increments because mo the yeah. time spent listening is mainly on your drive so that's why morning and afternoon are the two biggest time slots because you're catching people driving TSL, to work yeah, or driving huge. home from work and so but for the most most part you're catching people in like a 20 minute or whatever the commute is whatever the average commute is and uh so to fill four hours of time you just have to take a lot of calls because like you know it's like asking a stand-up comedian like oh go up there and do four fucking hours it's uh, nearly impossible i i think it started too like there were shows like in the overnights and in the evenings that would rely on stuff like that you know, like, remember the night calls? There, like, there were a, a slew in the 80s of shows that were based around guys that were in major cities that were literally just a voice taking calls all night. Yeah, yeah. You and, know, and I think it was a style of radio. Drew kind of did it with his overnight show when I worked on it. You know, we would go in and we would have a set schedule of what we wanted to talk about. Most of the time we'd hit most of them, but it's kind of like this. We'd end up taking probably more calls and being more silly in that regard than we ever did any of the stuff that was on the paper. And here's why it's kind of antiquated is because uh, in the past it may have been more interesting to people, I think, because they're like, oh, we get to hear what other people in my community are thinking about a topic or whatever. It's like, now we're inundated yeah. by every yeah. single day with thousands of people's comments and what they think, and that's always, and we're going to get away from it. Like, yeah. I don't fucking care what you think. <laughs> like, I can't stand it. I'm done with it. So I don't want to hear their voice. Um, now, so, so instead, we got to listen to you for three hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know. Uh, I hear what you're saying. Uh, uh, motherfucker. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to make up for it now. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, but uh, so fucking Carl Lewis singing the national anthem is the funniest thing. Uh oh, but what I don't understand, like, and 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 it's a novelty for us because we don't normally do it. But do people actually really like hearing what callers? think about in and especially since only like five percent of your audience even calls in. i think it's good for past the time i like it still but yeah. maybe i'm old yeah it may be like i like, like and then nostalgia like i wonder if it, it can be entertaining I mean, yeah it's it crazy seems, people it, it's kind of what well, i brought every, up last night like, 30, time long time. Yeah, every 30 calls you get a real good one yeah. but uh, maybe even more maybe well, every if you have a good screener you could get more i mean i think you're being maybe a little Overly critical to it. Shot at Butler. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but like, I, well, uh, yeah, like we taught Butler how to screen the calls in yeah. two minutes. In two <laughs> minutes, less than that. It was like five seconds before we had to go do the elevator <laughs> intro. I was like, "Hey, push this button." Casey, tell him, and then I ran. <laughs> I think it can be entertaining, and I, I think that kind of like what I touched on last night. I think that when people, when you, when they hear it, it gives them like they're kind of pulled into it because they think that the caller is actually changing. The actual program. They're participating. They're part of it. You yeah, know? yeah. And for us, I mean, it's, uh, and by the way, it's it, it was super easy. It's like watching a sporting event on tape. Because we could just take you call. You know, like nobody likes to do that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I don't watch soccer matches. Even if I tape it, if I use my DVR, 
It's hard to watch sports after so that happens. And that's yeah. why the live call gives it almost like that sporting kind of a vibe. And, and it's like, what could happen? Right. Although we, we have two dumps, so mm -hmm. if anything crazy happened, it, you would never know anyway. So it's not really live. It's 13 seconds delay. Yeah. Um. So like cursing or anything that we didn't want on there or anybody who doesn't want on the radio, you can be it can be dumped in a race. You'll never know what it happened. So it's, it's not really live. And then... Uh, I just don't know. I'm like, is that form of entertainment still going to be around in 20 years? Like, yeah, no, I know that uh, we joke around about radio. It's not dying. Well, yeah, it's, it's not dying. dead. It's, it's just but having it's, to change. It's slowly morphing into whatever the hell. It, maybe it's going to be a... Uh, um, like a a show that like obviously now they're just podcasting all the shows and stuff like that and uh, are the shows going to be smaller like I don't know if doing that m like many hours of blocks of of show is going to be around in the future because then you're like god damn it's too long you know what I'm saying and it's too hard to uh, oh my god 30 minute commercial breaks Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Those are brutal, Half the show right? was break. Well, Those the, are ours brutal. are that's longer I, because we do 220s yeah. instead of 350s. But that's yeah. why I laugh when people, even on this show, the Friday Free Show, where we do put commercials in it, when people are like, oh my God. I'm like, you don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. have no idea. What were you going to say, Fisher? No, that's, I think sports radio, though, may be the one that's still built on that model because you're so reliant on people calling in and, and giving their opinion so yeah. that other callers can come in and say, that guy that called in doesn't know what he's talking about. And I, I think, yeah. and you probably listen to more sports radio now than I do, but. I don't listen to caller driven sports. Like I most, I most, I mostly live in a podcast, and so I'm listening to. If I want to hear, I don't want to hear what uh, someone in Orlando thinks about uh, the Miami Dolphins or whatever. Like I want to hear someone who fucking plays on the Miami Dolphins being interviewed. You, you know, want because, that local, yeah. And then that's the thing with like music radio too. It's like uh, you know, you can now, uh, you know, you got your local music radio, but uh, you could also hear like instead of listening to top forty stations, you could hear. Uh, Ariana Grande uh, put together her own set of music yeah. she wants and, and then talk about her own music personally on like uh, iTunes music and things like so I'm I go back and forth on it too because like I, I I'm, I'm with you with music I, I dial up what I want to listen to in the mornings sometimes it's fun though I, I'll put on uh, like Beats 1 because I have Apple Music I'll put that on because I know they're going to give me stuff I don't know about so it is kind of, there is an excitement level, for at least for me, where I'm like, ooh, I don't know what they're going to play. And then like it'll be some DJ from London who's spinning, like, I don't know, electronic music. And it, I'm out of my element, you know what I mean? And I'm not in control, which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I don't know what he's going to play. If it were up to me, I'm just going to go back and listen to No Effects or I'm going to listen to Bad Religion. Well, how am I learning there? I'm not. Yeah. It, it, it was an odd uh, experiment in the how many people were like, oh, I'm glad you're live. Yeah, congratulations. And, but then uh, I You've didn't understand what about it they were glad you know, like the live well, element. I think part of it for me, like when I saw the photos online, I didn't listen yesterday. But mm. that's okay. But uh, we don't want you to listen. Well, no, it's kind of cool that you get to go back to the place that you used to work. And, yeah, and it's a novelty. Your, yeah, no, I mean, I've yeah. gone back to Wash, and when I go back there, people are like, hey, but it John, also didn't you make you doing? listen live, did it? No, you did it. But, well, so it's like, it's, I didn't like. Doesn't matter. Also, he doesn't no. listen anyway. And, pe and people may have <laughs> people may have like, oh, I like that show a lot. I do, I doubt they would if we did it five days a week. That that version of it, you know. Yeah. And I think there, there's still something with an audience that when they call in, they get a rush of hearing their yes. voice over yeah. the radio versus a podcast where we may have played your voicemail and you have to go find that episode that your yes. voicemail was played. It's like it's it's instant gratification and you can hear yourself yeah. uh, over the air. Yeah, yeah. I agree. The, although, like, it goes back to what I was saying, like, even at the height of radio, like 5% of your audience would call in. Nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So it was a small. And even when I used to screen calls, it was probably like the same hundred callers over and over, yeah. you know, with well, the game usually, shows. That, that's just the that's just the way it goes with anything like the. The amount of emailers that we have, the Zach amount of voicemailers we have. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get the people that, like, the vast majority of the people that listen to the show don't even interact with it, at least through email or audio. Yeah, You know, they might be on the BDM page, they might be on the regular uh, Mediocre Time page, but for the most part, they lurk. Those are even, our guys. Even the BDM page, there's thousands of people on there, but not every single yeah. person comments. There's probably there's only like never even heard 80 people that rotate yeah. getting into arguments or it's sharing links and stuff. You know mm -hmm. I mean? The rest of the guys just go there to look at stuff. I do it with any group that I'm on on Facebook. I don't really participate that much, at least, especially now because I've been pulling back from all of that, you know, because yeah. it's not healthy for me. So I just I lurk and I look at stuff and I just call it a day. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I just I, I'm, it'd be interesting. It to is see interesting. What's going to I think be you nailed it, it, though. I think you nailed 10 it years from now. The reason it was popular is because it was different. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, if we yeah. did it five days a week, it wouldn't be the same thing. And I don't think we're going to do that. We might do it occasionally, a little bit more. Or if we have the opportunity I'm, to do something, we might do it. Or we, we might do just it, from do it here. From here. I don't want to go back into that the, the <laughs> radio station. It's stinky. It, it's it, awful. It's uh, stinky, right? Also, it there was it gave yeah. Daniel uh, yeah, my ten thousand and pegged. pegged anxiety. Like I could tell, like even by the fact that you were just going through calls, and you started go, like uh, um, saying the number and stuff. Like you were like, oh, uh, you know, you reverted well, back I was to just trying to do what we're there to do of course you know yeah, I mean? yeah no then but you got to get through the bulletproof doors to try and go pee it's like what the <laughs> fuck can you do it live from here could you guys do a live show from here if we I got guess we're doing one now but like no no on we, the radio we yeah. could if we got the line oh okay. apparently it's like 1500 bucks or whatever uh, um oh, all it's, right. we and uh and i we i was asking last night i didn't know what the fucking isdn line i've always heard that during my radio career i don't know what it is and i don't know why you need it to uh, broadcast live but apparently it's something you need you could do it through internet but but it's uh, sketchy uh-huh. and it keeps dropping. They they, ha- they don't have it down. If you get a hardwired line, okay, uh, which you could put in any place, like bars. When they used to broadcast live from bars or wherever else, they would have to buy the ISDN line, and it was something like a fifteen hundred dollar okay. cost that they would. And it permanently, and once you have it, then you could broadcast live anytime you wanted. Ah. So uh, right. we could yeah. do it technically. I just don't know if we would or whatever. I mean. It could be a cool novelty. Or it might be a waste of money. Who knows? (laughs) Um, I'll give you guys a choice. Do you want to... I have... No, you're good. I have curated voicemails, and then I have things that are just coming in now. So we can take them like... Oh, like a live uh, show. Yeah, it's almost like live. You want to take some of those? Sure. I don't know what it's going to be, though. We found your video camera. Yeah, it might be. (laughs) Hey, so I'm listening to the corporate time that you guys did live, and... Is anyone else shocked that Tom was able to say purple primer on PVC pipe without mumble mouthing it? Um, Anyways, love the show. He definitely said purple primer once. Purple primer? This is all just an act. I'm playing character. I'm really smart in real life. I read all the time. I'm really smart I, in real life. I can uh, talk perfectly. Uh, this is a character I've been doing for uh, 15 years straight. Here, let's take one Best more. Best actor. 37 the years straight. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I was just listening to the live show from Thursday night and I just want to remark on how much better your audio sounds from your studio than from yeah. the very expensive 104.1 studios. So I say that's probably great work, Daniel. We got a lot of that. That all was their the, equipment is shit. Too. That was the number one thing I got in my email is people saying, it doesn't sound as good tonight. It sounds better when you just do it from here. Well, you know what? It's because the pre recorded aspect of it, and Daniel's able to send it to him in a file that's. Uh, I can control maxi- it. Yeah, yeah, and they use, like, uh, there's, um, what's the shit that, like, compressors? Yeah, and it's, stuff. A, it's a program that pulls the podcast. So when those podcasts are pulled and put up there, they're just bulked out there. I don't know, like 50, 44 kilobytes per second. So it's tiny, just yeah. like, it's. And with the it's dump, not good. like uh, they have to do something with the audio or basically like when you rebuild a dump button, it basically it takes small clips. Yeah, steals out of, little pieces of space. Yeah. So that uh, the listener won't hear it. But then uh, it, it, it'll uh, fill up like 13 seconds of time. Then you have two dumps. So if you do curse, you got, uh, I think, eight seconds on the first one or seven. In the second, eight, like I that. think it's eight and eight. Um, and uh, that you got eight seconds to hit it and it'll, it immediately erase uh the uh the the pre eight seconds of whatever just happened that's why if you ever hear a, a radio show uh well man we should have talked about too like now all radio uh like they they realize like having legitimate callers is too hard to do especially with the uh, like uh bits and things like that that are scheduled so they just hire like uh local comedians, comedians and, and improv actors to do it yeah uh, and they'll, they'll pretend to be all those things really? like yeah, war yeah. of the roses all, all of those all of that stuff's fake it, uh, all the callers are all fake really yeah, yeah. All yeah. Any, the radio yeah. for me any guy that's what i'm trying that, to do Jesus. any guy that bought his wife or his mistress rather flowers you know they do that old bit where they call yeah. them up and they give him the flowers who are you going to give it to and he gives it to his mistress it used to be real, it's all fake, and it used to be really good. But the uh, as like it be just become more and more. Well, those bits were There's sponsors. companies that'll do it for you. You can just really? buy them. Yeah, wow. yeah, 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 we know yeah. some people that do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won't talk about it because they they they, they, talk they, about they it. sign non disclosure yeah. agreements. So like, huh. uh, I remember one comedian. He's like, don't know. He like literally left her studio. Yeah, he so walked outside. Of, yeah, yeah. 
uh, I think we talked about it one time. One, I think Carmen Morales talked about it. She don't give a fuck. Yeah, she don't give a fuck. She's, uh, she's, she's, she's she on the, has the edge of being famous. She's big dick yeah. in it now. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's super talented. Congratulations to her, by the way. Like uh, she's working the door of the comedy store, and then going up in the main room, going in the belly room. Like she's just killing it. She'll killing she'll it. be a famous comedian. Yes. I mean, I mean, 100%. she's on the on on the brink of it now. And but, I made um, a bet with her, and I paid her to not forget us, so we're good. No, so with the dump button, do they have like meetings on like what you're supposed to dump, or is it just like how it's do you a, know it's up to, to the host it. typically? It's, so how do the like what's the protocol there? Uh, it's Usually very just cur- loose. curse words, and yeah. then, right, and well, then at that a, point it's your discretion. Really? Yeah. So like, what's a curse word to you? Is it different? Fuck or shit? You definitely no, obviously. Dump. Yeah, you but, could um, you could say cunt, someone you someone's an asshole. You can't say look at that guy's asshole. You can't. Okay. You, you can say that guy's a dick. You can't say touch my dick. Oh, yeah. so right. and you can't do. Do they tell you this in a meeting? Like when you sort of. It's real loose, man. You take a PowerPoint presentation. Really? I made a joke about it last night. It's this thing they give you these scenarios. And then on the screen, that's they, the payola. They have yeah, but like for the other one, they they'd use like sort of the same thing. They give you scenarios, and then you have to like kind of link it up. Really? Yeah. And then they say like, uh, blah 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 did this after 10 p.m. Is that indecent? And, and Is that obscene? It's Is so that- subjective. It depends on the culture. For instance, after Janet Jackson showed her titty, like it, like the FCC rained down hard on the radio. So then there was like a mandate company wide. That's why they fired Howard Stern because he wouldn't like he was like, oh, fuck you guys. They were like, no more sex talk at all. Like anything like that. And they were like, stick to racism. That's uh, that's <laughs> if you want to go to edgy, sell. go racist. Uh, I was literally told, uh, and uh, they were, but they were like, uh, no more sex talk at all. Like, uh, you know, stay away from everything. Like, don't even mention sex, uh, because they were all freaked. So out you'd about be okay it. with working there. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like talking about this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? like, You could get away this with is my kind of place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, you guys don't talk about sex here? All right. <laughs> all right. Let's do one, <laughs> another email. Sorry. Okay. Uh, hey, mediocre team. Just listening to the show where you talk about the Lou Pearlman documentary. When I was living and working in Orlando, one of the clients we had was Lou Pearlman in the offices at Transcon on Sand Lake Road and then in the Church Street Exchange yeah. and when he took that space over. I spent a lot of time around the house in his offices. I could tell you about his house, Calvacate of Hot House Boys, his private museum that had the original Enterprise from the Star Trek show, gay porno in his movie theater, the model blimps, planes, etc., an insane house party, and all the scam offices at the Transcon <laughs> place at Church Street. Maybe you're past it. It was crazy, and you might get some laughs out of the stories. Starship, <laughs> Enterprise, and gay porno. That's yeah. all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just sounds like a Mike Busey yeah. party. Yeah, yeah, that's my whole that's life. That's true. <laughs> Beam me I up, walk- Scotty. Put the porno on. God, I keep forgetting to watch that documentary, too, because it's I, wa- I want to see it. Just because it's so connected with us. Dude, in it's Orlando. so good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so yeah. good. And, uh, and what's his name? Oh, uh, Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter is so fucking whacking it. Yeah, I still gotta see it. Oh God, he starts. Which, crying. by the way, Aaron Carter is now coming out saying he has a story to tell about Michael Jackson. Even though when that whole thing came, that documentary came out, he was like completely defending Michael Jackson. Now this, that he got a little bit of pop off of this Lou Pearlman one, he's like, "Oh, I have a story to tell." But you have to wait until my book comes out to hear about it. It's oh, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to, yeah. Is Just he gonna? Is he? Did he allude to it being a bad? He story? wouldn't. He wouldn't say. So he's going to be the old uh, bait and switch, right? Yeah, It'll be like, maybe. He'll defend it. He was like, something happened. The family knows about it. And it's like, what the fuck does that mean? So the Michael Jackson's, uh, like, the, uh, the daughter and uh, maybe the son or whatever, like, the family are trying to go and poke holes in them, these two guys that came out in the documentary about- uh, In their stories. And all the stories. Not in them. They're not good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so, if we determined did this happen or not, we know that is it no still facts. undetermined. I I There's no the facts. I mean, it's yeah. their word against yeah. a dead man's. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah come yeah, over yeah. here, poke a hole in me. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's play another voice. All right, I'll go back to these live ones. We're getting these live. Hey, Tom and Dan, I'm listening to an old episode of ACT. Not that old, only like a week or so. And you're talking about how the Orlando City game. They started playing The Longest Yard for some reason, and you named three like soccer movies that they could have pulled up. There is a British soccer version of The Longest Yard called The Mean Machine, and it stars Jason Statham and Vinnie Jones, like a bunch of other British actors, and it is the exact same story, just soccer. They literally could have played the same movie, but soccer. (laughs) Fools. (laughs) 
<laughs> uh, that's funny. I've Sharif, never heard of that. Hey, that's uh, Sharif. Uh, he, he emails all the time. Good, good, uh, goddamn message, buddy. You know, Jason Statham. He's like, I feel like he's gonna come out of the wash, uh, like, and be still respected. He's even the career, though he's been. He's the career I would want to have. He's been in a bunch of horrible, yeah, but goofy. It, but it looks shit. like he's having fun, and people seem to yeah. really like him. And so, yeah, like I feel like no one really yeah. like shits on him or says like, oh, this guy's just been in a I bunch of bad. Because like, he embraces what he's doing and he knows what he's doing. Like if he does the Expendables or if he does Transporter Nine, he knows he's doing that. He doesn't really shy away from it. Like it's a fun movie. He's not yeah. trying to win an Oscar or anything. Like who's more respected as an actor, Nicolas Cage or Jason Statham? Ooh, that's but dude. Nick Cage has been in good. movies. Yeah, I know that's but the thing. But in a almost really Jason bad Statham. Movie. Um, almost yeah. Jason Statham is like higher only because of the horrible stuff Nicolas Cage has done. Even though Nicolas Cage has done uh, Raising Arizona. Did you guys like, see Mandy? Ton- has anybody seen Mandy? No, uh, the Nick Cage movie. He's done some. Oh, you guys really haven't seen good- that. It's good. <laughs> All it's, right. it's really good. Dude, you would like that. Your wife may not. It's action crazy, but... He's nuts, right, Nick Cage? Like, he just got married and divorced yeah, after, I, like, two days I or whatever. Like, he's, like, and the IRS stuff and, like... Uh, it all points towards being nuts. Right? I can't really figure him out. I don't know if like, he's nuts or not, but he's from a... Married Melissa... Isn't he a, is he a Coppola? Priscilla? I don't know. Isn't oh, he, I don't know. Isn't he in that world? Coppola family? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Yeah, the nephew of uh, Ford Coppola. So, uh, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. <laughs> he's the nephew of Ford Coppola. <laughs> we have a caller. Oh, he hung up. Never mind. He what? had a story about a hurricane blowjob. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still the winner. Unless they stay on the line, mm-hmm. I'm still the winner. Um, My daughter's actually watching us on Twitch right now. Probably <laughs> tighten up. Which hurricane was this? Charlie. <laughs> Are you oh, just yeah. making that up? Did you no, hear that? I was channeling. Um, I was channeling. Um, what's it? Bill Clinton. Charlie's the worst hurricane through, that's been through Central Charlie. Florida in uh, twenty-five plus years. Yeah. I got you know. Dan um, killed it. That hurricane <laughs> Charlie gonna blow. Get yeah, one more voicemail or uh, email. Do we have an email? Uh, okay. Yeah. Gotta you gotta watch. Now. You guys gotta watch that Lou Perlman documentary so know, we can I talk about him. it next week. Okay, so uh, so I know we're not supposed to talk about it, but <laughs> I have been heard a few references on the show about Tom quitting Kratom. My question is, was there a specific <laughs> reason why he quit? I just want to know if there's something that those of us who use it on a daily basis should know if it's negatively <laughs> affecting our health. Appreciate any feedback you can give. Love you guys and the show. Look at how, how much more luxurious and big his Conan hair. Look at that hair. pompadour. He's yeah. got that Conan O'Brien. Because he quit the Kratom. Yeah, yeah it I poofed mean, his hair up. You guys are making fun of me too much. He's I lost weight. In the you look good. You look strong. Mm. I would also Nothing suggest do don't compare your life to Tom's just because yeah. he does something or quit something doesn't mean yeah. you should. Do your own research. <laughs> go to your doctor if you're really quit. concerned about it. Go to your doctor. Mm-hmm. How's your uh, Red Hot? That, that's, uh, he checked himself. that. No, no, I don't know. It's still, yeah, but how about, you know, when you go... You know, that's you, still hard. Uh, it's oh. still, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a you know, push. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it's a... It's a <laughs> scenario. I don't, can't do it like that. Nothing comes up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to uh, ride it out. Uh, oh. you know, it's a good I, plan. I constantly, th- I'm like, eh. like I was telling someone the other day, I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm almost 40. Do you really have to, are you like, Hurr! no, 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 no. It, I think, I think it's because it, it happens when I'm, uh, on too much THC. Mm-hmm. I think the THC and the Adderall combined. Do you always stand when you pee? There's serious questions. Do you yeah, always yeah. stand when you pee? Yes. Next time you're high, sit down to pee. See if it more comes out. Um, when I'm high, I sit down to pee. Push, it push all on your bladder. Comes out. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you just got to be relaxed. When I stand, I'm like, it. I do like you. I can put my arm up on the wall, and I'm just like, come on, <laughs> let's go. Mm. But if I sit for whatever reason, it all comes out. And then if I, my wife's laying in bed, I'm and with the door, the the, the guy. <laughs> I hear her waiting to hear the water, uh, the pee pee in the water. That's and not helping. I know. And then, uh, well, that's I, because she caught you jacking off. No, <laughs> that's pee <P-Lo>. line. <laughs> Don't tell me the BDM. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't hear that story. Yeah. Well, not you gotta, a BDM. You gotta sign up to be a BDM. Um, and uh, then when I start, uh, she's like, "There it is." <laughs> like, oh. she's bullying me. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, or she'll like uh, like I'll be in there for a while, but I won't even be staying in front of the toilet. I'll be like looking for uh, mainly my weed, <laughs> and then uh, and then she'll be in like, the bathroom? she's like, how long is it gonna take? Ew, I'm like, God damn it, you got doo doo pot, man. Like, and she, uh, you keep your weed in the bathroom? 
Oh, my closet. In, my, in the bathroom. So it's um, got poo-poo on it. You have a closet? There's not poo-poo on it. There's uh, poo-poo in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, there, that Mythbusters busted. That just as much fecal matter floating around everywhere than in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> Especially in this place. <laughs> there's, there's no. that whole toilet. <laughs> oh, it's clean here. Yeah. There, there's yeah. the whole toothbrush thing. Like, you keep your toothbrush in the bathroom, right? Uh, No, actually, I do not. I Where do you keep it? In the shower. Oh, still Where's in the, the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still in the bathroom. A, I have a mansion, sir. My shower is on the fourth <laughs> floor. My bathroom is on the third floor. You're brushing your teeth with the, the I thing. I take the elevator down after a shower, and I go to my drying room. It's the same thing. My wife, when I <laughs> I brought a beer in uh, in a public restroom one time, and she's like, "Don't bring your beer in there." I'm like, "I, I don't like doing that." I fucking either. open my mouth in here, <laughs> like you know, say, "What's up, difference?" <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we. Why also, do you open your mouth in the bathroom? I'm just I. Breathing yeah, but with we your also mouth? put. I don't keep my mouth shut. Just like don't like. We it, also put our mouths on each other's genitals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, do you guys have Some rules? Some people eat booties. Do, I know. <laughs> Some of them might be in this room. Yeah. <laughs> do you <laughs> guilty? Do, do you guys have a rule or a time limit? Serious question. On like, you want to have sex, but you got to pee. You go pee and then do dab or dry it off, or do you give it? I like to give it at least a solid 15, 20 minutes to rattle around in my boxers. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. And get all the little <laughs> quips and drips off oh, before yeah. I want her going down there, and vice versa. If she goes pee, yeah. I want that thing being muffed in those panties for at least a solid 15, 20, just in case some residual. Yeah. Uh, Drippage is. I experienced this last night. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, you last ate some. Night. You ate some pee pussy. My, well, my boxer briefs had a little bit of little bit of splatter from you know. Splatter. Didn't, I didn't What's drain it, it thick? Was it like mustard? <laughs> <laughs> or did you get old? Oh like, she's oh, got me. She's yeah. got me listening to these murder podcasts. Yeah. So now it's all about splatter. It's like what's it come out like frozen Just lemonade? Some drips. <laughs> I had like one or two drips that were in my briefs. Yeah, because mm. I didn't. Shake well, you're it. older, like yeah, 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 yeah. It takes a long time. I don't have that time, and she pointed it out to me. Yeah, and I had to take them off and. So it's just a little bit of pee-pee, it'd be mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I got a trick for you. You go pee-pee. So, well, I'm uncircumcised. You go pee-pee, you get back to the bed, go ahead and take it out of, go go right through the hole, mm -hmm. and then just let the sheets dry it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that way your boxers uh -huh. are pee-pee free. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same thing I do when I, I uh, like if I'm clipping my toenails, I clip one side of my toenails too close and it bleeds. I just stick my feet in the sheets. What? And I just bleed <laughs> all over it until it dries. Is there just <laughs> blood in you're in all over <laughs> your, yeah. your sheets. Yeah. Gross. It looks like a it looks like a lab core. It looks like a quest in there. I was always told grow, growing up, and I don't know if this is probably a myth, but someone told me bef if you're a man, never pee before you have sex because you'll last longer. If you pee before you have sex, you'll you'll finish quickly. That never is, that heard seems the that. opposite. Never heard that. Never. never heard well, I'm less back to my original <laughs> question. Do you guys pee before sex? I mean, and do you do you wait it out so you make sure you're not down there eating pee? I uh, I'm a don't think about it type of guy. <laughs> you know, like uh, I look past that a lot of stuff. Uh, most of the atrocities, uh, I'll. I just, just don't want to get down there and it. be like, is that pee? You know what I mean? Like I don't want to do the Sam. What? <laughs> I'm able. To, I wanted you to weigh in on this. You know, uh, female perspective. I don't like if Travis went and took a pee. And yeah. they came back, and then you guys were like doing what uh, married couples do. Would you give it twenty minutes? Uh, Ten. See, she's the realist. You ever seen a watermelon eating contest? You can't happen. You can't ask one of the contestants like, "Oh, how that watermelon taste?" They don't. They kind of went aggressive. That's gonna miss me. Like, <laughs> I, have tears I don't in my know eyes. what the watermelon tastes I like. Have tears in my eyes. I'm just trying to get trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the trophy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah, yeah. I eat the seeds, everything. Yeah. Just, I stop. No, don't eat the seeds. I stop I at the rind. Eat. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have to stop yeah, at the rind. The, the rind, rind is bitter. Would the rind? Then, oh, then I just look up for the judges. <laughs> <laughs> time's up, time's up. Yeah, Did like, I win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, uh, blue ribbon. All right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, we did a... Uh, so Bustecker was really bad. <laughs> um, bad. Let's talk about it. Um, Bustecker, we're gonna he he's gonna try to come in here as much as possible. Yes. But can you talk about your new job? Yeah, I think so. I haven't really said I'm much excited about for it. You, but yeah, this I'm, is awesome. I'm starting with the uh, Orange County Sheriff's Office on Monday. Mm. I'm gonna be their multimedia video storyteller and online video host. You know what uh, that means, guys? We yeah. got a snitch in the room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to hide our contraband here. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, my God, you know, uh, call your buddies when uh, <laughs> right when I got. 
got the best Coke connector. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I leave on a Friday. Yeah. Well, like, how many of you count my white clothes? You guys are in the city, <laughs> so that, that's the city's problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, God, that blew my ears out. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean but to yeah, do I'm that. starting with them Monday. So uh, I, my plan is to come in here as much as I can. Yeah. yeah. But I, I just gotta I gotta feel it out first. Of course. Yeah. 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 You gotta see a great job, listen. man. I think you'll be perfect yeah, for it. Yeah. And no, I'm excited. Yeah. Kind of like what um, Bob Keeling does. Yeah. So Bob Keeling, he used to work at West too. Uh, he's up in Seminole County now. He works with the sheriff's office there. Yeah, it's going to be similar to kind of cool. what he does. Yeah, cool. Well, I hope you can come in, and we, uh, you, you plan to. We'll see yeah. you, uh, yeah, uh, more and more. But maybe uh, there'll be a couple Fridays, uh, or maybe you'll come on an ACT. We'll figure yeah, I might be able to come on some ACT. Yeah. So. There you go. Um, Fisher, what do you got going on? Uh, BYOCBshow.com. Uh, I actually did a sit down a couple weeks ago. It's called Beers with Fisher Volume 6. It's out there uh, with, with Daniel yeah. uh, for about two hours. Check that out, uh, guys. If you haven't heard it, it's really good. We uh, we had a fun time. We went over to ta- Tactical Brewing right here in Baldwin and uh, and had some beers and uh, and talked it out. It was really, really fun. So check that out. Has is, is, is Tom been on your show? Uh, yeah, that's where all the good clips uh, come from, the cruise. <laughs> yeah, he caught him drunk, drunk on the cruise Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> Those are cringy, man. Don't listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I said. Uh, not good. Um, Samantha? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Semantics Podcast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. One podcast day we'll get found. Tom on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for the invitation. Oh. Motherfucker! <laughs> I okay. thought I was going to be- All right, uh, I'm going to give you a date. All right. All right. We'll see what the. Uh, I'm a busy man. I don't yeah, I know. <laughs> Check that Google calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Google. Uh-huh. Don't wear flip flops. <laughs> Why? Because my dog I will know. bite your toes. Yeah, you got to wear shoes oh, when you I, I mean, you don't I, have to, but your also, toes will get bitten. I also have, like. Uh, like don't wiggle ev- your fingers at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's. Like, my toes are in a various state of, like, injury at all yeah, times. Me too. Yeah, yeah. There's, like. Mine's little, from picking and anxiety, though. No, oh, yeah. I bleed all in the sheets. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I do. It's bad. It's, uh, it's bad. Poor wife. I'm like it's bleeding. It's bleeding. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'll get the band aids. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, remember, book your cruise before uh, July, before that price goes up. Uh, Tom and Dan Cruise 2020. Um, Go out to. Uh Tank America tomorrow yeah. with Butler. Yep. Big 420 uh, shoot 'em up laser tag extravaganza. We also have a uh, a pub crawl. Um, the Mez and uh, Surfside Tavern. Uh, Mets. Mets. <laughs> God, You're thinking, damn it. You're thinking of the well, Mez also, or the, the Mez downtown. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Why was I thinking of that? Because you know just why. sent me an email about it. No, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Sorry, it was in my head. Yeah, um, go to our app. All our events are We also our have app. a brew tap house uh, watering hole meetup coming up soon, too. Yeah. yeah. Check the app. All the events are there. Yes. Um, so also we got a BDM event and if you're a BDM, you got invited. It's a family friendly event. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, so, uh, please come out. We just got the, uh, brand new BDM magnets that we're going to be giving yeah, out. Yeah, they're pretty badass. Yeah, they're very, very cool. Uh, Butler may or may not have them tomorrow. Yeah. So America. if you want to get a jump on them and you're a BDM, well, we're also, you know where to go. We're raffling off a, uh, 60 inch LCD TV, yes, uh, 4K, sir. courtesy of American Air and Heat. Yep. Uh, Bart Merrick is raffling off an Xbox brand new. Xbox One X. Yeah. Yeah. We have, It's uh, a free raffle, guys. Just yeah. Show yeah. up. It's yeah. just if you're, events if free, you're the BDM, raffles free. Yeah. yeah, if you're a BDM, you've already paid in, so you're yeah. in. You yeah, mean, so you'll get a ticket, and then also uh, White Claw and Red Cypress donated some products, so every BDM is going to get a free beverage uh, at this particular location. And I asked, I am not eligible to win the any, either of those, mm-hmm. but I would love yeah. either of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, oh yeah. There you go. Anything else? That's it. Guys, thank you for listening. We'll see you Monday.